So today I'm going to take over the Atlanta Braves for the next 10 seasons. I'm going to do my best Alex Anthopoulos impersonation, getting players on really cheap team friendly contracts and also just rob other teams of their best players with crazy trades with that being said we've done this with two other teams in the dodgers and the yankees and this is currently the standings that we have and as you can see there's a pretty big difference between the two teams so we're gonna see if we can get the braves up there with the dodgers and i think it's gonna be pretty difficult and if you haven't seen a 10-year takeover before we use a point system to kind of tally up who's the best team because obviously we can keep track of world series but what happens if we got a tie that's what the points are for. So after every season, we tally up our point total and this is how the points work. You get one point for making the playoffs, two for winning the division, three for having the best record in all of baseball, four for making the World Series and five for winning it. So the best you can get is 15 and obviously the worst is zero. And at the end of 10 seasons, obviously we'll tally it all up, throw it in the standings and we're gonna see where the Braves rank compared to the Yankees and the Dodgers. So without any further ado, let's see what we can do with the Braves. So with this Braves team, I, I like it. I think it's a pretty good squad. I think they've done a really good job in bringing in players from their farm system, bringing in players who trades for agencies, all that stuff. My issue this season, especially with the team, Sale and Charlie Morton. Picking up this option for Morton, I thought was a little questionable. I thought extending Chris Sale after they acquired him through a trade was a little questionable. It's not that I think they're bad pitchers. It's just they're older. And especially with Chris Sale, super injury prone recently so like is he going to give you those extra years that you're expecting from him it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how that pans out obviously strider is very good max Fried's very good they've traded away some of their other pitchers that have battled injuries as well i think their bullpen looks good they've extended a couple players that they've acquired recently for their bullpen i think it's a good team right and then they've got some young guys like smith shaver who I feel like he's so young, obviously, with the inning limits that they've kind of put on him. Are they going to be a, is he going to be a starter? Is he going to be a reliever? They also have J.R. Ritchie, who I believe didn't pitch last season because of injury or was recovering from surgery from injury. So they have some pitchers there. The bullpen is fine. And then, of course, when you look at their farm system for position players, it's a little thin. And you just got to think of the fact that a lot of their players have recently graduated from prospect status. So, you know, like Acuna, Harris... Well, Vaughn Grissom's gone now and some of the other guys where they were younger and now they're kind of gotten past that prospect tag. So the team's good. Obviously, when you look at it offensively, Michael Harris, Acuna, Olsen, Riley, Albies, John Murphy, the acquisition of Jared Kelnick, I thought was fantastic. This is a really good team. And so when I targeted the draft, I went after a lot of pitchers just because I noticed we do have somewhat older pitchers, especially in video game terms where once you become like 30, 31, 32, you start to regress a little bit. So I wanted to target some younger pitchers that we could have to kind of develop throughout the, the rebuild so that we'd have players to rely on for the future. So you've seen the guys that we've shown you. And then I drafted a catcher because why not? So, yeah, I think we're going to do a really good job with the Braves. We just got to be smart about everything. I'm not going to go too crazy this offseason heading into our first actual season in 2024 because we don't have a lot of money. Officially season one, let's talk about this team. We're currently ranked first offensively, fourth pitching, 10th defense, 21st in speed. If we look at the budget, we are a little bit over this year. We do go down a little bit next year. We do lose Charlie Morton's contract, but I did extend Max Freed for 18 mil. So yeah, we save like two mil, but we do pay him for the next four seasons after this year. I think the big thing for us is going to be Iglesias and Sale and maybe Ozuna. That might come back to hurt us and then you kind of see the other deals like Reynaldo Lopez I know he's been fairly good in real life obviously in the game it's a little bit different you know we, we've got some interesting deals that we've got to work around like why is David Fletcher on a five million dollar deal I'm not going to use David Fletcher I'm going to trade him I also forgot to trade away Nick Anderson so or like on my roster I forgot to adjust him that he was on the Royals so I traded him to the Royals for the lowest rated player that the Royals had was like a 46 overall with like c potential maybe so i'm gonna get rid of david fletcher um i don't want him on the team i don't even real i don't even know why he has a five-year deal does he have a five-year deal in real life there's no way that's true i mean it is the angels so i could see it possibly being true but i don't i don't think it is um who wants david fletcher so let's let's just see what team will take him is there any team that will take him oh there are a few basically every team in the league i'm probably covering it but yeah basically every, any team in the league will take them so what do i need in this team i guess just like a prospect and like looking at our shortstops 
it doesn't look great. So I'm gonna see if I can find, I'm not looking for like a crazy good prospect. I can get Joseph Ortiz. Ooh, okay, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look around, see what we can get. All right, I'm gonna get Ken Waldachuk of the Athletics. Sure, why not? Uh, they can have David Fletcher. I could get a little bit more. You can see the bar is a little bit higher. Um, I just don't wanna rob the Athletics. They're already bad as it is. But you know what? The Braves do like to rob the Athletics. You know, they've, they've, they've got a history of doing it. So you know what? I'll take Javier Veras as well. I definitely robbed them there. I probably could have gotten like Zach Geloff for Fletcher, which would have been crazy. But let me make sure that certain players weren't called up, which I figured they would be. So we're looking pretty good. Okay, lineup wise, like I said, I didn't want to go too crazy. I like the team as it is. I want to let some of the players' contracts run out and then we'll start replacing them. You know, someone like Ozuna probably gonna have to look for a shortstop at some point so once one becomes available i think bobichette becomes available soon i would love to get him in this team i think that would be crazy good but at the same time we do got to worry about budget as well so let's see what we can do this is currently the squad i know the braves have signed guillorme recently we uh, brought back duval i signed joey Votto just for the vibes i thought you know what we'll, we'll have him on the team for a season darno and then tim anderson you know what we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes and then pitching I did say I didn't want to go too crazy with the pitching or at least signing players. Jordan Montgomery. And the reason I did this, Chris Sale is probably going to regress. Charlie Morton is definitely going to regress. We needed a pitcher to step up right away because there's Yanoa, there's Justice Sheffield, there's Schwellenbach. You can kind of see there really isn't a pitcher that is like right now MLB ready. So I was like, you know what? We should probably wait, like, or not wait, but we should probably find a replacement right now. And I thought for what 12 and a half mil essentially for the next four seasons i can't pass that up it's a fourth year option it's back loaded I, I couldn't pass this up it was just too good of a deal i liked it uh so i threw him into the team and that's what we've got going on um as you can see i've signed a couple players as well this was the guy that i traded um nick anderson for so there we go and yeah this is the team i think we're looking pretty good i'm excited to see what we can do with the squad I'm not going to show you every draft, um, but this was the guy I wanted. And I'm really upset about that. He was like my plan A. This was my plan B. This was like my plan D or E. I didn't really have a plan C, to be honest. So maybe Odom was my plan C. Um, I saw this guy was ranked 75th and we had him at number nine. So that's a little disappointing that he got picked. But looking at his per nines and everything, he looks really good for the future. I just don't know if I would have drafted him because of the walks per nine, but he also does just look really good. So maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, yeah, I haven't put out anybody on my draft queue, which isn't like me, but I wanted to get into this draft immediately with hopes that this guy was on my, gonna be available at my pick. So now I gotta scroll through all my picks and see what we're gonna go with. But I mainly just wanted to show you that I, I missed out on that shortstop, which is super disappointing. So for these, I normally don't do trades at the deadline, but I was noticing that uh, Orlando Arcia was, you know, regressing. And even though he's having an okay season, let's let's get him off the books, right? He's regressing. We do need a shortstop for the future. I am going to also throw in Cal Conley for this deal. He's actually progressing fairly well, but I can get Ellie De La Cruz, who is on the trade block. Yes, on the trade block. I'm, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. So I do have to give up Duval, which means I do have to find another bat to add, which sucks because Duval has actually been really good for us. So that's that's gonna be something that we have to look into. But let me tell you, Ellie De La Cruz on this team is, yeah, give me more of that. Is there somebody else that like, maybe I could throw in that like I'm not I'm not using? Yeah, I think I think we'll just do the, the Conley deal and we'll, we'll call it a day. Ellie De La Cruz is a brave. And then we're going back to the athletics. Gave them a call. They're basically my number one on speed dial at this point. We're going to pick up Brent Rooker to be our Brent Rooker. Sorry, to be our uh, our new replacement for Duval. So, yeah, Ellie De La Cruz at short. Let's see, Let me see if I can get him a little extension going. Let me see if I can get that. You know, let's see. What does he want? 14 mil for seven seasons. I feel like he becomes a free agent in what? He'll become a free agent at the end of the season. So it'll be four years from now. So that'll be 2028 ish. So seven years would make it 31, which basically takes us to the end of the rebuild. Like, I think the rebuild's 33. I always write it down. It is 33. So that'll take us. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm, seven years. What does he want for eight? 15 mil? That's still like really cheap. Maybe eight with an option. 
so let's see what we can do in the end it took us just over 16 mil to make the deal possible but i feel like you know what for a 22 year old locking him up for that long that's a pretty good deal i feel like that's a braves deal right there it's a little bit more than what michael harris signed but you know what i i think i'm okay with that obviously we still have the acuna deal to work with which he this deal was absolutely insane along with the ozzy albies one um this one being a little bit more ridiculous but you know what 16 mil yes he's having a tough season this year i think we'll be all right and then here's our draft class for this season 85 potential in tony cox we've got enos mccann with 86 potential 96 and 92 potential for the uh shortstop and the pitcher 77 potential for ibar and then 76 potential salazar so a lot of low rated players for sure um but we got to think about the future as well also a lot of these guys are 18 years old so we got to be a little realistic here um looking at some of the other players that i've like kind of flicked through there were some really good pick players that we could have gotten but at the same time we were the last pick in the first round so there's that this was the shortstop that i thought about looking at his fielding not great also 79 potential there's that uh there was one generational talent this is the first generational talent of the rebuild so we'll keep an eye on him we'll see what he can do a lefty outfielder looks pretty good looks pretty good and then the other player that i wanted went to the baltimore orioles in mesa again it looks really similar to the other guy that went to the brewers it's just a little bit higher potential also the fielding is pretty trash so all right so here we go first season won the division 95 and 67 so we're already up one point because we made the playoffs and then two points because we won the division I almost said three points but that's not correct unless we did have the best record in baseball which 95 it's possible it's possible but a wild card team having a 94 win season doesn't fill me with too much confidence there you go 99 for the rangers 99 for the twins oh 104 for the rays the dodgers i understand what did the what is what did the rays have hold on what did the rays have uh jeffers that, that was it that what is their pitching's good i know that but 104 wins is kind of crazy who is it who else had a really good season the twins also had a really good year um their offense is just always really good they're just one of those teams that really performs well pitching is also pretty solid on their side it looks like they had a rookie come up and just was pretty bad with the five era and then of course we know the rangers are going to be good so there's that um i saw wyatt langford was on the trade block which i i thought about trading for him but we went for de la cruz so there's that and it looks like they've acquired guriel in a trade as well so okay not the best record in baseball but we did win the division did make the postseason so we're up to three points just now in season one we're taking on either the cardinals or the padres and looking at league leaders strider for strikeouts and then ronald acuna jr had quite the season quite the season so do we have an award a hank aaron award okay otani mvp and then you got ozuna and matt olsen in the race for mvp Corey seager won it on the other side juan soto's there we've got mcclanahan and walker bueller as the cy young winners and then looking at the rest of the squads what do we got here or rest of the awards i should say tamar johns three pirates what three pirates in the rookie of the year race and then manzardo won it for the guardians okay all right all right so interest interesting names all right, so this season ian anderson did get called up he had a three era which is honestly not too bad over 21 innings pitched um pretty similar to what he did in the 2023 season obviously that's not like a real life season that's i simmed the first 2023 season in this sim or in this takeover so not 2024 pretty similar um i, I do want to give him a chance so we'll see what happens if we take a look at oh the other player that got called up was matzik and he had a uh, inning and two thirds and got got roughed up a little bit a lot of run a one run one home run it's definitely gonna hurt but it, it was an inning so it's tough to judge him there and if we look at our team our bullpen Ronaldo lopez was fantastic we have him for two more seasons 10 mil a little bit more than i would like but we'll see how he does um, aj minter was okay i had to take him out of the close role put him in the setup role and he definitely excelled there Aaron Bummer really struggled. He might be a guy I look to move this offseason, maybe for another lefty. We might be in the market for a lefty, depending on if we bring back Minter or not. That's kind of the thing I'm looking at. Rizel is regressing, but he also had a fantastic season, took over the closer role, did fantastic. We've got Jimenez, who was also very good. We had Murphy. You know what? I'll take that for sure. He may not give us too many more good years, 
but um ooh, minus five minus six but overall not too bad bryce elder as the sixth man 118 innings i'll take those numbers you know what fifth starter wasn't bad but this might be the spot where either elder or anderson steps in elder is regressing which is a little worrying but maybe we keep him for another season or two see how things pan out yikes chris sale this is what i was worried about we do have another season and uh, we'll see what we can do but essentially i'm expecting charlie morton type things where i had to take charlie morton out of the lineup he was he was just doing so so poorly i don't even think he's where where is charlie oh i dfa'd him he he had like a an eight era after like five starts i, ha I had to get rid of him i, to I for totally forgot about that yeah i got rid of him he was doing very bad like just absolutely terrible so um that's why you had you know that's why elder was there that's why we had to switch things up a little bit freed was good again we've offered him an extension probably not going to do too much better in terms of regression or, or in terms of progression he'll probably sit around this um so actually doing a five-year extension wasn't my smartest move in hindsight either way strider was not great in terms of era and he's also regressing so there's that and then jordan montgomery was the most innings pitched but was solid so i think this was a good pickup for us especially on a super team friendly deal that the braves like to do position players wise i don't think anybody was called up to help us out like for multiple games maybe the september call-ups but there really weren't too many players that really got a lot of time joey Votto was literally just like a bench coach this season didn't get a single at bat he was clearly there just to help out the squad uh, for morale like I said, just a bench coach. Tim Anderson only had um, 20 at bats. He didn't really do much with that either. Just a guy that I was hoping would just be a backup, and he was. Um, Giorme looks like he got a, a decent amount of at bats, 100 abs, and was Giorme esque. Got on base, hit the ball. That's it. Probably was a glove first guy. I don't get why Giorme does so well, and I'm looking the show. Probably because for some reason he's got 94 contact versus righties. But all right, uh, Travis Starno was our backup catcher. Is a free agent, probably in the market for a new backup catcher. We've got him from the athletics. You know what? Brent Rooker was pretty decent. Am I going to bring him back? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Ooh, arbitration? Yeah, I'll bring him back. Sean Murphy is regressing, which is super disappointing. We've got him for a few more seasons, but you know what? He's our guy behind the plate. Not going to worry about it. Jared Kelnick? Yeah. G give, give me these two seasons right here, just consistently. I'm okay with that in left field. And Ellie De La Cruz, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. He's up to an 88 overall. Michael Harris better not be capped at 89 overall because I have him in my plans for the foreseeable future, but not a bad season. 11 triples. I'll take that. Ozzy Albies, 35 home runs. Yeah, give me more of that. And then Matt Olson, also very good season with 46 homers. And of course, the main man. Yeah, 50 doubles, 35 home runs, 42 stolen bases. Fantastic. Austin Riley at third also had a fairly good season. So, oh, Marcelo Zuna was just somehow hitting 40 home runs and doing really well also. So the team as a whole, fantastic, fantastic. Can we win a World Series? Let me make sure pitching rotation looks correct. It should line up good to go. All right, season one, how are we going to do against the Padres? And we are through. Okay, that's good. You know what is not facing Otani. That is definitely not going to happen. Honestly, I might even... Maybe you know what comes over here, which then reads pitching. Uh, boom, boom. Maybe I go Montgomery there instead of Sale. Nothing against Sale, but just Montgomery had a really good year. So game one, we win. Why did Strider pitch two games in a row? Whoa, 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 whoa. You got right? Because this, hold on, hold on, hold on. So this game's maxed. For, Strider pitched two games in a row because of the. Oh, this is not good. All right. Um. Well that that glitched out that's not good uh max free pitched we won montgomery pitched we won and chris sale pitched we won thank god okay so now it should be strider freed we're good to go the fact that how long did strider make it in back-to-back -back games by the way let's view the box score he pitched he pitched five and two thirds and then the day before he pitched <laughs> five and two thirds so he pitched jeez okay yeah way to go way to go game just completely glitch out like that but we are in the world series so how will we do in season one we win the second game lose the third 
comes down to Strider, and we fall a little bit short to the Astros, which is a little tough. Playoff MVP was Michael Harris, and Owen Miller was the World Series MVP. Yeah, that's tough. I mean, Strider was probably dead tired. He also just didn't do well in general. Everybody else was fairly good. The bullpen, for the most part, was good besides Iglesias. And offensively, like, Ozzy went quiet. Ali De La Cruz was a little cold too, but everybody looks like they performed well. It just looks like, you know, this final series, we were close. We just fell a little short. So after season one, we're up to seven points. One for making the playoffs, two for winning the division. So that's three. And then making the World Series is four, seven points. All right, so season two, it has been over two weeks since I recorded season one. Essentially what happened was I got shingles, then my whole family got COVID, then I got COVID. So back to back, I've been sick for basically the whole of 2024. And yeah, I just haven't been able to record. So finally, we're back. I'm on the grind. And I had to like completely refresh my memory on what happened in season one and see where the team was. So happened into season two, let, let, let's just let's just kind of talk about this because I made a couple signings, nothing too crazy. Carson Kelly, Velasquez, and Madrigal. Essentially, I was just looking for players that could just be good bench players, help us out off the bench because our lineup right now is just so good, right? And most of these guys have really favorable contracts or paid for the next four or five seasons. So we're really not gonna change up the lineup unless something just absolutely falls apart. We've still got Ellie De La Cruz. We've extended his contract for the foreseeable future too. The team's looking solid. Like there really isn't a need to really change anybody. Maybe Marcelo Zuna. I think he's in the last year of his contract anyway. So like he'll be someone we look to replace. Potentially Matt Olson in a few seasons. Maybe Sean Murphy in a few seasons. But realistically, most of these guys are fairly young. I feel like the lineup's gonna stay the same for at least three, four years, at least three, four years. And then pitching wise, this is where I may have been a little bit ambitious in terms of like extending Max Fried's contract till 2029. I think that was a little bit of an oversight on my part. I I, I definitely extended it a little bit too far. Um, Jordan Montgomery, I think we're gonna be okay with the next couple seasons. We should be able to get at least 2027 out of him. Chris Sale becomes a free agent after this year. So I'm not really freaking out about him. We could definitely replace him this year easily. But we, we have Yanoa, we have Ian Anderson, we also have Bryce Elder, we have AJ smith Shaver. we have a couple other guys who could definitely fit into the rotation if need be. We've got bullpen depth because I'm going to have to either trade away some of these guys or just send them to AAA. So we've got the depth for sure in the bullpen. And then looking at the roster history from the players that we've drafted, we've drafted fairly well for the future. Like I've, that's kind of what I've been doing with this draft is just... Finding guys that I think will be good three, four, five, six years in the future. So that way, once our regular, like our MLB lineup currently starts to get a little bit older, they start to regress, we've got guys that can step in immediately. So I'm not really looking for the highest overall players just yet. I'm just kind of looking for players that I know will have good potential and they can join the team in a few seasons. And I feel like we've done that with our draft too. So I feel like we're looking pretty good. You've kind of seen the moves that I've made. Um, I think the only signing that I made for the pitching staff was Caleb Ferguson. I gave him a three-year deal, four mil each season. Pretty good deal. Another lefty because I want to trade Aaron Bummer. So let's go do that. I'm going to move Bummer and Chadwick Tromp for 19-year-old Doug Ragsdale. Essentially just a reliever for the future. I think that's perfectly fine. It's always good to get some bullpen help for the future. So there we go. All right. So this is what we're going into the season number two, season number two with. Um, Caleb Ferguson is going to start the year in AAA. I feel like Matzik and Minter deserve a chance. And if things don't go well, then Caleb Ferguson can come up. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on Chris Sale once he starts regressing like crazy. Definitely going to be replaced. But outside of that, yeah, team's basically the same. Just a couple changes here and there. All right, I just put Enoa on waivers. Essentially, what I did was I sent him down. He was on waivers because he was out of options. The Red Sox tried to take him. So I'm going to take two prospects from them in Gregorio Herman. Or I guess it'd be just Gregorio German and also Henry Kondo. So there we go. Not bad. Things right. so two ends with us 98 and 64, which I kind of kept track of what was happening around the league. It's not going to be the best record in baseball, but we do win the division. We do make the playoffs. So we're already up to three points. And based off of last season where we got seven points, it's not bad. We're at 10 points after two seasons to start. We can still make the World Series. We can still win the World Series. But like I said, 98 wins solid we won the division and then the dodgers won 112 so we're we're gonna be 
it, it was going to take a really good season to win the uh, or have the best record in all of baseball. And the thing here is just some of our guys were regressing. Some of our guys just didn't live up to the the uh, expectations that I had. But league leaders wise, Strider had the most strikeouts. Rizal Iglesias had the most saves. And then if we also look at awards, we have delivery man of the year with Rizal. Otani won MVP. You've got Corey Seager winning it again in the AL and then Cease won Cy Young along with Dustin May. The, the Dodgers are just going to be really good. They're going to be really difficult to beat. And looking at the other teams that we've, or the other players that won awards, there's some interesting ones. Um, Henry Lilly, you see that he is the generational talent. I forgot the Pirates had one of those. So there's that. And then Colt Keith with the Tigers won Rookie of the Year. Okay, so I know this is going to be a mess. Yeah, let me fix that. Looking at players' statistics for the season, Caleb Ferguson pitched two innings, had three holds or two and two thirds. was really good. I definitely want him in the team next year. And... I'm trying to think of who he's going to replace because our bullpen wasn't too bad this season. Um, if you kind of look at who we had, Minter, who pitched 42 innings, was fantastic. We've got one more year of him in the squad. Probably will be the last year. We'll see how he progresses or regresses, but honestly, really good season. Ronaldo Lopez is starting to regress a little bit. And for 10 mil, he might be a guy that we, we look to move in the offseason. You know, it's just one of those things where if he is going to regress, we might as well try to cash in while we can. Uh, Tyler Matzik is probably one of those guys I will let go, which means Caleb Ferguson will take over that spot because we will need a lefty in the bullpen. But again, not a terrible season, but you know what? I, I, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Uh, Rizel was reliever of the year, which is awesome to see. He becomes a free agent this year, which again, I'm okay with. He's aging. He's starting to regress a little bit, but was really good for us for these two seasons. Um, Joe Jimenez was good. Can't complain about that at all. We've got one more season with him. Ken Murphy was pretty solid, but he's also regressing. So we might just see a little bit of a change up in the bullpen after this offseason. Bryce Elder was was OK, considering he had like a six ERA at one point. I'm really happy he got it down to a four three. Ian Anderson, which is not really not really cutting it. I need I need a little bit better. We've got Chris Sale, who also wasn't great. Um, Jordan Montgomery was really solid. He's also improving a little bit, which is good to see. Max Fried at least held his rating which gives me a little bit of confidence that we can maybe sneak out a couple more seasons of this contract. Uh, it might end up being a Chris Sale situation where we end up with a really low rated player in our rotation, but you know what? I'm okay with the year that he gave us. And then Spencer Strider was fantastic. Love to see that. The ERA is a little bit high, but you know what? I'm pretty happy with that. And so the team as a whole pitching wise, not too bad. And if we look at some of the uh, position players, Nick Madrigal was pretty bad. He had 15 at bats, but was was bad uh brent rooker was really good off the bench 16 hits home run 10 rbis not bad like really good numbers off the bench for us carson kelly was a backup catcher not too worried about it guillorme got on base that's all i need from him off the bench nelson velasquez i gave him a two-year club option i don't know if i bring him back it wasn't too great sean murphy as our catcher was fantastic we still have three more seasons i think we'll definitely be able to get three years out of him jared kelmick I don't know, man. I don't know. Like last season was decent, but this year he's regressing too. Not what you want to see. Um, Ellie De La Cruz improved a little bit. So I'm pretty happy with that. 10 triples, 18 home runs. I'm pretty happy with those numbers. And like the average on base percentage, OPS all went up. Really happy. Michael Harris potential went up, but overall went down. Not too sure about that, but you know what? I'll, I'll take it, I guess. Uh, we've got Ozzy Albies who had a very, very poor season not great matt olson was very good he's starting to regress a little bit man that's gonna be that's gonna be some of the problems here we're gonna start to see some of these players regress austin riley had a good year with 31 home runs and then of course acuna is another player that's gonna start to regress unfortunately i don't get it acuna is like curse and i will be the show i don't get it i really don't um, but he had a good year so i'm not too upset with that and then marcel Ozuna had the most at bats out of the entire team he is a free agent but he did hit 40 home runs he's not really regressing either and as a pure dh dude knows how to hit i might look in a different direction we'll have to wait and see what's available in free agency but it's time for the postseason i'm gonna rock with a four-man rotation rocking with these four chris sale and ian anderson are gonna be our bullpen our long relief options and this is what we're gonna look like so Let's see. Let's see how we do against the Cubs. Okay. And, oh, are we really going to lose right off the rip? Okay. We're, we're still alive. We're still alive. Spencer Strider, please. Not good. 
So only the playoffs in the division this year gives us three points for a total of 10 after two seasons. Yikes. The Rangers end up defeating the Dodgers in the World Series for 2025, so we really need to pick it up. I'm really going to need to start changing up some things with this team if we're going to compete with the Dodgers after 10 seasons. Even the Yankees. We might not even hit the Yankees at this point. So let's 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 see what we can do. Let's see what we've got going on here. Minter. I think I'm going to take this option. Nine mil. I feel like that's a pretty good deal. What's the contract here? One and a half mil. How many? He does have a minor league option. He's actually got two. I think that might be worth it just in case and then same thing with madrigal just in case it's three mil it's really not that much giorme how much does he want for a season um i'll offer him six if he takes it great if not maybe we look somewhere else carson kelly i think i'm gonna let walk rizel can go sale can go and then what does ozuna want for a season i think six mil is really tough to pass up that's really tough to pass up has like 38 home runs that's pretty good in the dh spot let's see what else is available but he's definitely going to be on my radar so let's let's see what we can do in the offseason really quickly this is what our draft picks are looking like we've got aiden nash 71 overall with the potential he was our first pick i thought he was going to be a little bit better in terms of potential he's still not a bad player it's just I thought he was going to be a little bit better. We've got Maurice McGregor, who looks decent, 18 years old, 65 overall. We've got Richard Baker, again, 18 year old, 62 overall, pretty good. Ken Brown, uh, Reynaldo Harrell, or Harrell. Either way, we went pitcher heavy just because these were kind of the best players that were available for me. And then Vincent Casto was my last pick, first baseman, eight potential. It's just it's it's going to be a while before we see him. Overall, pretty happy with the picks that we got. I'm in the offseason i'm making a trade i wanted to spend big this offseason i just sadly can't I, I i may have messed up with some contracts but we're gonna trade ronaldo lopez and david hamilton to the tigers for steven chavis and a reliever in douglas black i think he looks pretty good even if he can get into the mid 70s it's a decent reliever to get for the future and i want to get rid of ronaldo lopez's contract even though it's expiring this upcoming season I just i want to save a little bit of money so there we go all right, so season three season three yeah i had to double check all right so this is what we've done signed a couple players to kind of fill out the roster the usual in the minor leagues but lineup wise let's talk about the team here brought back ozuna one more season i thought you know what the hitting stats he's a dh that's all i'm looking for him to do we'll be fine and then you can kind of see the bench reese mcguire is our new backup catcher but outside of that not too much has changed except for the pitching rotation where we brought in Zach Gallen on a five-year deal worth 32 mil. It is a lot of money. It is a lot of money, but I thought he was one of the better pitchers available. He's 30 years old. And if you look at some of the other guys, like Ian Anderson still hasn't really proven it. Yeah, we've given him like one full season, but outside of that, not too much. So we're going to we're gonna see how he does in this long relief role. And then I'm going to give uh, AJ Smith Schauber a chance as our fifth starter. I forgot that Jordan Montgomery's contract is actually a team option, so we could let him walk, but at the same time, like 15 mil really isn't that bad, and if we can keep this starting five as long as smith Schauber does well, we should be fine. We still have Bryce Elder, we still have a couple other youngsters starting to develop, like Spencer Schwellenbach, even though he's like, what, 25 now? But then the farm system's still looking really good in terms of pitchers. I've also changed a couple things. Um, I also forgot to mention that we um, signed Robert Stevenson, Chris Paddock. I think Chris Paddock was a two-year deal with the team option. We have Minter and then Ferguson. So this is what the team's looking like. And I've changed a couple things for pitchers. Basically what I did was if they had under 70 stamina, I made them a reliever. So you're going to see some of these guys here have been made relievers. Like Henry Kondo, I think was a starter. He's now a reliever. Um, Ian Seymour was made a reliever. Um, who else? Ibar. There was a couple others. I think I, there was one more I think I did. Who else was it? Was it somebody a little bit lower? Salazar. Salazar and then Baker. I think that's it. So you can see they've, they've dropped ratings, but it also gives them more room to grow also. So we'll see how they develop over time. But again, it just gives me more relievers to work with for the futures. And that's that's kind of why I did that. And um, that way we can start to find some other positional players. Because I feel like pitching-wise, we're pretty good. We can still always add pitching through trades or through free agency. But I feel like now we can focus drafting some position players, hopefully. 
Otherwise, we'll just sign position players and then continue to draft pitchers. Either way, we're going to juice up this team a little bit. The issue now is just going to be budget management because, as you can see, we're really not going to lose too much off the books next year. So we're, we're going to have to be smart with our moves moving forward. Probably also make a couple trades. So let's get through Season 3 see what happens. All right, so Justice Sheffield is going to get claimed by a team. Um, I, I called him up, and then I was going to send him back down. And he's going to get claimed by team. So I'm going to send him to the Cubs for this guy that I saw was on the top prospects list. Looks like a good catcher for the future. So we're going to we're gonna pick up Randy Telshaw. And then I want to get rid of... I don't know. I feel like Bryce Elder. We've seen the best of Bryce Elder. Um, I'm at the point where I feel like I need to get rid of some of these players that just like I don't think are going to cut it. Like Ian Anderson is doing really bad. And so is... So is uh, Smith Shaver, and Smith Shaver's options are out. So like, I want to give him a chance, but um, I'm 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 kind of in a really tough spot where like I I can't send them down because they'll both get claimed. Um, uh, Smith Shaver's already been claimed by the Athletics, so like I don't I like I'm I think I have to get rid of one. I think that's just something that I'm gonna have to do, which is unfortunate. But I think it's just going to have to be one of those things where, like, most of the pitchers are doing well. Like, our bullpen, for, for the most part, really good. It's the starters that are letting me down this season. So, um, haven't signed any of my draft picks yet. It's literally the day after the draft. I got to figure something out. So, it wasn't a trade that I was looking to do. But you can see the trade on screen now. And the reason I'm doing this because I was going through the trade block. And I was like, I don't really need a shortstop. I don't really need... Uh, a shortstop even though i would be interested in one of these guys especially matt mclean um ellie de la cruz not doing fantastic so there's that i thought about jackson churio i go ooh, that's tempting it's very tempting 10 mil is a super cheap deal um but i saw white langford langford av available and then i also saw that um justin foscue 27 years old he's basically out of minor league options he's got one more um doing okay not great in AAA, but he's doing okay. I thought, you know what? We have full team control. Might as well pick him up. And let's get rid of some players that like I just don't plan on using moving forward, like Nick Madrigal. Just not gonna use him. We're gonna save money there. Um, Nelson Velasquez also just not really doing much in the, the at-bats that he's been given. So let's get rid of him. And then also a pitcher that probably isn't gonna make the team moving forward in Dylan Dodd. There we go. Um, I definitely still need a starter. Um, we are currently 61 and 47, so we're not doing bad. We've moved a little bit farther into the, the month of July. Really close to the deadline, just two days away. Um, but as you can see, the starters are looking good besides Ian Anderson, but he has brought his ERA down since becoming a starter. And Smith Jarver has brought his ERA down since becoming a long reliever. So do I just stick with it? The bullpen's looking great. I'm not worried about the bullpen at all. Maybe Penn Murphy a little bit. But outside of that, everybody's doing fantastic. And the lineup wise, some hits, some misses for sure. Um, but the reason I brought in Langford was because a miss is Jared Kelnick. I think he's going to be our new backup outfielder along with Brent Rooker. And um, this is going to be the new bench. I keep saying Rooker, Rooker. Either way, um, also Ellie De La Cruz is really struggling. And I'm a little worried about this deal. That might come back to hurt us for sure. But outside of that, the team's looking good. Also, Michael Harris is kind of stinking it up. But hitching wise, yeah, I, I could go to a starter. We could also just go back to Bryce Elder. The issue is we are kind of stuck with the, the three options. And Bryce Elder, I think, has one more. So I don't know what to do here. We're going to stick it out. We're going to stick it out. So here's our draft for season three. Rich Ruiz, Tobias Odell, which looks pretty good. The hits per nine is a little low. But at least we got one decent pitcher this year. Vaughn Rock, long, long-term project. A potential, though, 92. Uh, James Hayes, C potential. Okay. And then C potential for Demetrius Eldridge as well. So I think the first three are probably the guys to look forward to. Rich Ruiz, no power, but definitely looks like a guy who could easily play first base for us. So I think that's probably where we're going to end up sticking him. So maybe a first baseman from Canada. Instead of a lefty, maybe a righty. Maybe we've got a little Freddie Freeman action. Maybe, maybe, probably not, but maybe. Season three is over, 97 and 65. Won the division, made the playoffs, three points right off the rip. So that's good. 97 wins, potentially 
good enough for best record in okay probably not 100 wins for that the rangers okay so didn't didn't not padres with 98 107 for the dodgers so not the best record in baseball but at least we're starting off with three points the division and the postseason league leaders acuna had doubles and stolen bases which is awesome to see and then if we look at awards delivery man of the year for caleb ferguson so this was a good pickup for us yeah we got him last year but he was really solid 62 home runs for shohei holy cow 48 doubles 62 home runs 160 rbis hit 306 with a 1085 ops whoo uh, one soto finished second he went back to the padres okay and he'll also be a free agent what 32 33 all right okay he had 150 rbis as well manny machado had a pretty good year nathaniel lowe won it on the other side degrom and glasnow are the cy young winners and looking at the other awards anything else that's like standing out davison de los santos was rookie of the year okay and then emmanuel van or Emmanuel valdez won rookie of the year as well okay let's take a look at pitching all right, so AJ, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need him to figure something out, and it's gonna be really tough because obviously we're out of options. He just had a really tough season. Um, he's improving, and I have faith in him still. He's only 23, um, but I just maybe maybe a reliever. Maybe we just turn him into a reliever and uh, just work with him that way and see what happens moving forward. Um, Robert Stevenson only got used for 13 innings, so it's really tough to judge him because like at one point he had like a, a three ERA, now he's up to a 5.54. But with 13 innings, it's really tough. It's really tough to judge him on that. So I don't I don't really know what to do. Um, I, I can't really judge him too too harshly. Just didn't really get used. Bryce Elder came up, 18 innings, was pretty good. So we'll see. Maybe get another season out of him. Still only 26. AJ Minter was very good. Becomes a free agent. He also improved this year. So maybe he's a guy that we just keep bringing back until we have a bad season with him. Caleb Ferguson was fantastic as a closer. Joe Jimenez is a free agent now. And I think we've, we've, we've seen the best from him. He was good. I think we're just going to go in a different direction for relievers. Um, same thing with Penn Murphy. Not a bad player. Just I feel like we should probably start to look to improve it just a little bit. Um, Chris Paddock was good. I'm going to see if I can sneak one more year out of him. Three and a half mil. I feel like that's a cheap deal to work with. Ian Anderson went from, what, a 7 ERA down to a 4.5 after he became a starter. That's huge. And obviously, he's always been a starter, but we had him as a long reliever. This time, we made him a starter, gave him 14 starts, and looked pretty good. So maybe maybe he just make him a starter now. Um, Strider, 4 ERA, not really what you want to see, but hey, we'll, we'll work with it. Max Free is starting to regress. Might, might be in trouble here. Uh, Jordan Montgomery was good once again. He also improved a little bit. So I think that 15 mil option is definitely something we pick up. Zach Gallon was fantastic once again. And then back to the bottom. So now if we look at our position players by at bats, I think we had, he came up, didn't feature. And outside of that, I think that's it. So we only had one player get called up in September. I did that manually. Um, really, he didn't really have that many at bats. Hold on. Uh, Justin Foscue had three at bats, got one hit was a home run i'll take it also got a walk all right and improved all right so i feel like this is just our new um middle infield help um 43 at bats for brent rooker was was good again like i feel like we, we just keep giving him like a little deal here and there it can help us at first can help us in the outfield good dh bat as well we've got reese mcguire who was just our backup catcher but honestly wasn't bad the man knows how to handle the stick what can i say giorme just for some reason he's just broken in, in franchise i don't understand it um will i pay him six mil next year definitely not so hopefully he wants a cheaper deal but i'll keep him i'll keep him as long as he's doing well R wyatt langford we made him a full time starter and look how he repays us those are great numbers what a fleece on my part love it jared kalnick i think gets moved to the bench now i think we've kind of seen the best from him we'll probably sit around like the the mid 700s for OPS ish. If we can get back there, that'd be pretty good. Sean Murphy's regressing. Huh. All right. So catcher might be something we have to start looking for. Ellie De La Cruz is improving, even though he's not really doing well, which is not good. Michael Harris also had a down year. Also not good. He regressed heavily. Wow. Okay. Um, Ozzy Albies had a bounce back season, which is awesome. Matt Olson is also slightly, slightly regressing, but I think we're still good here. Three seasons. I think we can get three seasons out of Matt Olson. He hit almost 40 home runs. 
at 104 walks. That's crazy. And then Austin Riley also regressing. What is what is happening here? Why why is this happening? This is we're supposed to be like in the prime of this team, and people are regressing. And then Acuna, okay, not a bad season. 51 doubles, 44 stolen bases. I like that. Marcelo Zuna, all right, not bad. Once again, not bad. Once again, I, I kind of like what we're doing here. The team's looking good, but also players are regressing, so it's not looking looking great. And then this is going to be the pitching staff. So let's see how we do here against the brewers game one we win game two we also win can we just sweep them we do perfect all right so i just changed the pitching the matchup so we're gonna have strider day one we are facing the padres could be a tough matchup like i said could be a tough we just got swept by the padres let me let me take a look at this team really quick because like i know they're good but like they got zach netto oh okay um like that's that that's a good team i'm not i'm not bashing it but um what happened the bullpen lost it zach gallon got absolutely torn apart um caleb ferguson looks like he just completely fell apart as well four runs in the ninth okay and then montgomery got shelled uh, okay yeah three points what is that 13 total not good Alrighty, season four, not too many changes. I feel like we're this close. We just got to get the right moves. And I feel like I may have not have made the right moves always. So we're going to talk about the pitching. As you can see, this is what we're going to rock. I know Smith Schauffer is 24. He's young. I just got to be patient with him. The issue is the minor league option situation. It's, it's really hurting us. It's starting to um, become an issue because I've got like three or four players that I want to give a chance to. It's just we're in a really tough option situation. I brought in Jonathan Hernandez on a three-year, $5 million deal. I thought this was a really good pickup based on how he's been performing, especially the last two seasons. So we'll see how he does. Stevenson came back, I thought, on a super cheap deal, like three mil. Let's see how it goes. He didn't have the best of years last year, but he only pitched 13 innings. So we'll see what happens. Garrett Whitlock didn't have the best of seasons, but I noticed that they kind of had him as a setup guy. So maybe if we just put him in middle relief, potentially long relief if really needed we'll rock with them there should be better four mil for the next three years i thought was a bargain and then chris paddock's back i picked up his option it was three and a half mil minter came back on a super cheap deal four and a half mil for the next two seasons and then of course caleb ferguson is back he is a free agent though so we're uh we're gonna have to figure that out pitching wise starters were looking good we've got a couple guys on waivers currently and that's going to be Schwellenbach. That's kind of the main one, along with Colby Allard. So there's that. Cody Whitley also, Waldachuk as well. So there we go. So if we take a look at the lineup now, um, I did bring in quite a few players for free agents, um, like Egai Rosario, Hong, Torrens, um, Franco, Martin, Thornton, Jones, Co. Hoffman. Like You can kind of see a lot of these names here filling up the, the minor league roster because I'm noticing there's a lot of like just guys that could just be okay players off the bench or just some 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 players like johnny brito 65 overall if he can get into the mid 70s could be a decent piece that we could trade or just use him out of the bullpen we'll have to wait and see how he develops so just kind of names like that i don't think i've really got anybody besides this guy who's got like b potential but he's 46 overall most of the guys that i'm picking up low 60s c potential just guys to fill out the roster but my main pick up this offseason was an Ozuna replacement, Eloy Jimenez. Looks really similar to what Marcelo Ozuna's hitting stats are. And if I can keep him in the DH spot for six mil for two seasons, why not? Why not give him a chance? He was good last year. He was okay the year before. He's a hitter. That's what I'm looking for. Um, Torrens was a backup catcher. I think I signed him to a two-year deal. And that's kind of that. Uh, that's kind of the squad here. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. If I need to make some trades, sure. But oh, otherwise, I'm liking the team. All right, at the deadline, we're going to get rid of some of these older pitchers that just aren't doing it. Robert Stevenson is one of those. I'm going to take Francisco Pinero from the Yankees. 18-year-old reliever, 56 overall. Sure. All right, so I'm not going to do this the whole rebuild, but we are going to go to Oakland and we are going to get one of their top players or top prospects in Gil Garcia out of Panama in AAA. He's having a pretty decent season and a potential 73 overall. He's 20 years old and I'm finally getting rid of Ian Anderson. I've had enough. He's, he's just not doing it. He's regressing. 
I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I've, uh, the experiment is over. Um, Smith Schaffer is not really giving me too much confidence either, but yeah. Um, Chris Paddock is going to be traded for a reliever. I just don't know for who yet. And uh, the moves that I'm making are not working out and it's not looking good. So I need to get these moves correct. I just don't know who to get. So just really quickly, who could I get? I need a righty. Do I have a righty? Like I called up Burr and even Burr's getting shelled. So like I need, I need a righty. Like we've got some that are on the fringes of being good or being close to being ready. It's just like, they're not there just yet. Can I trust Trevor Steven? It's a super cheap contract. I don't want to take that contract. What about Sandlin? How's Sandlin doing? He's doing okay. There's got to be somebody here that I can trust for like a season or two. I'm just not seeing anybody. Am I really going to go Jose or Keedy? I really don't want to, but the arbitration looks kind of nice and he looks kind of legit. I might, I might do that. Ben Joyce is not somebody that I want. DL Hall's a lefty. Matt Brash, no. Ooh, it's looking a little thin. I might, I might take a chance on Jose or Kitty. They don't want Chris Paddock though. Hmm. Emmett Sheehan, no. There's got to be someone. Maybe a little Joe Barlow. Is Joe Bar like Joe Barlow? Isn't really that much of a upgrade though. I need somebody that's a little bit of an upgrade. I'm not even gonna get him. I'll find something. All right, Cardinals have Yariel Rodriguez. I'm gonna take him. He's 30 years old. B potential. Got team control for the foreseeable future. Contract super cheap. And he is out of options, but I think I'll take a chance with him in the bullpen. We're going to get rid of um, Paddock and Hernandez, who's 30 years old and 58 overall. I feel like that's a good move. All right, Ryan Burr. He's, he's, he's just two innings. I've seen enough. We're going to get Bryce Wilson of the Blue Jays. I know I can at least get a season out of him. So even though he's like kind of regressing, but not really, I feel like I'm pretty pretty comfortable using Bryce Wilson. I've used him before. I know he's reliable. And so the one thing I need to decide is if I want to extend Ozzy Albee's contract. And the issue is he's really good, right? I don't know how much longer he's going to be good, right? Um, he's having two great seasons. The first season wasn't great, but the last two have been fantastic. The issue is he wants 30 mil a year unless i give him like a 10 year deal where i can drop it lower and i i can't i can't justify anything over like six is probably the max that i would do and um, i tried to get him to sign like under 30 he won't sign for under 30 everything comes back saying he he wants more money i don't know if i can justify this kind of money on ozzy albies a second baseman who i realistically will probably only get three or four years out of and if i offer him a three or four year deal he wants up to 33 million dollars that's more than mookie Betts. that's more than marcus Semyon. that's more than jose altuve i get he's hitting me 30 home runs i just don't know if i can spend that kind of money when i already know that i'm going to be in trouble because i need to extend um, acuna soon strider soon we'll lose sean murphy which is okay but we still have ellie on the books Freed, Olsen, Riley, Gallen. I got to be smart with the money. I don't know if 30 million is really worth it for Ozzy Albies. I, I want to do it because he's a brave and it'd be awesome. But at the same time, that's a lot of money. Here's the draft really quickly so I can show you. We've got Miranda, who is our first pick. First baseman, really good hitting stats, good fielding. You know what? Switch hitter as well. I think we've got a first baseman for the future. 82 potential. So he won't grow too much more. So he might end up being just like a bench bat, but still pretty decent. Um, Padilla, 88 potential as a starter. Kruger, who's got 80s for potential as well. 76 for Omar Lopez. It's okay. Um, C potential as well for Freddie Dell. And Ernesto Guevara also has C potential. So overall, not a bad draft. So the regular season's over. 97 and 65. Is that good enough for the best record in baseball? Because right now, only three points, the, the division and the postseason. So 97, 90, okay, we beat the Dodgers. The Rays beat us. Dang, okay, that's that's tough. Um, really quickly, nope, not player statistics. Standings, let's see. ERA is a little high, 399. I'm assuming there's gonna be better, better teams, but 284 as a team batting average is pretty good. Spencer Strider had the most strikeouts and wins. And then Matt Olson, Michael Harris had doubles. Matt Olson looks like he had a pretty good season though. So definitely looking pretty good there. We've got a Cy Young. We've got a Hank Aaron. 
and an MVP. That's big. So Olsen beat out Otani. Acuna was also in the race. Corey Seager won MVP. Look at Marcelo Zuna still popping off. 42 home runs. I mean, he was good. And I definitely could have got him for a fairly cheap deal. I just, I was a little worried that he was going to fall off and MVP type season for him. Cy Young went to Framber Valdez and Spencer Strider. Okay. All right. Batting title went to Harper along with Corey Seager. And okay, Cano, Granderall won reliever of the year. And then we'll finish it off with JP Fodor or Fodder, Fodor. Either way, first baseman for the Nationals, rookie of the year. Okay. And then Eric Ransom. He looks legit. He looks really good. 218 ERA with a 0.95 whip. That is crazy. That is an insane season. And okay, let's find out what the team's looking like. All right, so Bryce Elder had some time in the major leagues, but he's just regressing. So I just feel like we've seen the best from him. Probably just going to let him walk. I could have traded him, but at the same time, I really wanted to give him an opportunity. And yeah, I mean, he gave us one good season, but outside of that, just not really developing. And just looking at some of the other names like Schwellenbach's probably going to get it sometime soon. Same thing with J.R. Ritchie. And a few others, like some of our players are really developing, like really, really well, high 70s for sure. So we've got some starters right around the corner. If we look at our major league squad, though, Yariel Rodriguez only pitched two innings and had a hit, two strikeouts. So not bad. Colby Allard came up, gave us 16 innings of pretty decent pitching. I'm pretty happy with that. Asia Minter continues to do really well. Caleb Ferguson also continues to do well. But it looks like we've kind of seen the peak for him. So I might bring him back for another year, keep him as a lefty, be pretty good. We've got Bryce Wilson, who again was pretty solid. Garrett Whitlock was fantastic, love to see that. Hernandez struggled a little bit in the second half of the season. We do still have one more season at least before we have the club option picking or coming in at 2029, but we'll see. I, I have faith, I have faith. Um, he's. I, I'm gonna give him another shot. I'm, I wanna see maybe as like a middle reliever. You can see he had 41 games, 12 starts, some long relief. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, I, I want him to do well. I really do. Uh, Max Fried continues to decrease. So, yeah, we've got the 2028 season. So, I think we should be able to get one more season out of him before he really starts to fall off a little bit. And I think we declined the 2029 option. Montgomery wasn't bad, but wasn't great. And uh, for 15 mil, I'm okay with it. It's not great, but I think we'll be fine. Strider was fantastic. Gallon was fantastic. And then that's about it. If we look at our hitters now, let's see. Did anybody? No, nobody got some uh, time from the, the minor league squad. Foscu only had 13 at bats. His, his ABs are going to be really limited. My pickup with him was just to be a guy that if we need him, he'll be there. Um, yeah, that, that, that's not what I want to see from him. I'm just going to let him walk. He's a free agent now. We can find somebody else. Torrens is a backup catcher. I'm perfectly fine with that. Giorme looks to finally fall off a little bit. Still getting on base at a really good level. It's just for six mil, I think we look in a different direction. Jared Kelnick, the ABs were way less than normal, but hey, it's a good season. 370 on base percentage. It looks like as a platoon outfielder, that's his role moving forward. Sean Murphy continues to decrease. We've got one more season. 12 mil, I think, as a starting catcher, we should be perfectly fine. But then we're really going to need to find a catcher. We're going to see if we can maybe trade for one, find one in free agency. We'll have to find something for sure because uh, it's going to fall off very quickly. Like, he's almost... He's, almost, he's probably going to be under 80 next season, which is going to suck. Ellie De La Cruz at least got the OPS over 800 with 30 home runs. I think we're getting somewhere. I think we're getting somewhere for sure. Wyatt Langford, a little bit of like a sophomore-ish slump because like this is his first full season in the majors, but wasn't bad, right? You give him 500 at bats, first like full season. I expect big things from him moving forward. Michael Harris had a bounce back year. Matt Olson was also very good. Ozzy Albies, like we said, was good. It's just, I don't know if I can justify the 30 mil. And then Ronald Acuna Jr. was fantastic. The last two players, Austin Riley, 28 home runs, looking good. If he can hold his rating, I don't, I don't know how we're gonna keep him around till 2032. We'll see what can happen. And then Eloy, you know what? 30 home runs. I'm happy with that. The guy was our DH. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Can we win a World Series? It would be really, really nice. At least make the World Series, get some extra points on the board, and we're facing the Padres again. The, the, this team might be our kryptonite. It might be the kryptonite. It might be our kryptonite. 
that's that's tough that's tough we allowed 10 runs in the first or the first game strider was not great seven in the second zach gallon was not great we still allowed eight in the third it's just the team did not come to play once again the padres might be the bogey team which is not good so again i think we're putting together a really good team it's just we're not we're not winning which is uh super disappointing devers is the mvp uh last year it was semi and the so the al is just running away with all the the mvps yeah that is that's not good so three points on the board what is that 13 now i lied 16 total points Ugh. all right season five we gotta we gotta get something right and so I was I was looking to find a way to get rid of maybe Schwellenbach. And it's nothing against him. I'm just I'm looking at his per nines and looking at some of the other guys we have in the team. J.R. Ritchie, Quintero, Nash, Michael Ahn. We've got Tony Cox, Hidalgo, Garcia, Maderos, McGregor. You, you can kind of you get you get the you get it, right? You kind of catch it on. So we've got a lot of pitchers. And as much as I would love to give Schwellenbach a chance, 27 years old. Per nines, the hits, the walks are low. Just everything's kind of low. And I just feel like maybe we need to pull a Braves move and move one of our prospects for a an, for an established player that can give us just maybe a season. And if things go well, maybe we extend the contract. And I was looking at, you know, just pitchers who potentially have like expiring contracts like Glass now or just someone that's close to an expiring contract. Um, Hunter Green, I was like, you know what? I would like to bring him into the team. I just think he's going to want a lot of money, even though he hasn't been performing great, which actually maybe he doesn't want a lot of money then. 28 years old could could be of use. Um, you know, Leon King, I think that was just a, a, a free agent that was generated by MLB The Show, but I don't really want him. But just kind of players like that, players that were a little bit older with expiring contracts. And the Giants had one that was like perfect. Logan Webb, 31 years old. His contract's about to expire. He's was really good last year but he's regressing um and it has been good so why not take a chance with schwellenbach and the deal is almost accepted right off the rip which is huge so who else could i throw in to make the deal possible there we go logan webb now brave the contract extensions i've already extended one player and i think i'm gonna have to wait on spencer strider and i don't want to it's just I don't think I can afford him right now. Um, and he also wants a lot of money. And the only way I can get him down to like 24 mils, if I give him a 10 year deal, which I really don't want to do, I think he can hold his rating. But at the same time, I'm a little bit worried, especially since he kind of already has been hovering around the four ERA to begin with. So I've already extended Acuna's deal. And as you can see, I got him down to 16 mil, but it does escalate up. So essentially it was 27 and a half mil for 10 seasons. The issue with Acuna is, He's going to regress, and that's why I was thinking we're into season five now, so we finish at 33, I think is the last season, so even at the highest point of his contract, he's going to be worth 26 mil. I think that's perfectly fine, especially since once his contract starts to get a little bit higher into the 30s, we're going to be done with the rebuild anyways, so I felt like this was the best way to get um, a deal done at a, at a cheap price, so... We're, we're gonna figure something out plus freed comes off the books after this season matt olsen doesn't come off the books this year but um 21 mil is still gonna be pretty good he should hold his rating and i think we'll be pretty good we'll figure out what we want to do with logan webb got to figure out what we're gonna do with him sean murphy's gonna be gone which i definitely think we can find a similar catcher for around the same price maybe even cheaper so we'll save some money there and a few others are starting to come off the books so we'll figure something out plus like if you looked at our budget we're going down to 172 after this year 125 in 2030 so like we really need to do something though because like i think the team looks good i should probably get it down to a 26 man roster first this is the team now we've got shover i mean i need i need him to shove this year i need him to shove we've got guys waiting for their opportunities and actually hold on hold on hold on we'll go we'll go like this a couple guys on waivers we're, we're good there a lot of guys double a looking pretty solid too the team's looking good i feel like this is the one time i have full confidence in the rotation and the bullpen we're looking good here no changes in the bullpen rotation's looking good too you would feel like yeah you should probably change things up because things aren't going well no 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 no. i got faith offense same i didn't make any changes except for lamont way jr 
is uh, the new like backup first baseman. But then uh, Giorme is still on the team too. So there's that. But um, yeah, actually, that that's really it. I signed uh, Melendez because somebody got picked in the Rule 5 draft. Two players got picked in the Rule 5 draft. So I just replaced them with some random players that I could find in uh, free agency. Outside of that, team's not changing too much. I feel like this team should be doing way better. We're just underperforming. I feel like I've done a really good job building this team. It's just not going well. 103 and 59 for this year, which is good. Easily our best record of the rebuild. Was it good enough to get a best record in baseball? So 94 wins in the wild card is not what you want to see. So we beat the Astros, which is good. What about the West? 107 for the Padres. What is this team that they're like putting up these kind of numbers? Let's see. Okay, so Bryson Stott, Brandon Marsh, Soto, Tatis, Prado, Pennington. Okay. Campusano, Neto, and Morel, um, Jackson Merrill, sorry. And then when you look at their pitching, their pitching's good. They've got Hater. They've got some sneaky relievers as well. But players are starting to get a little bit older. I mean, I guess our lineup's starting to get a little bit older too. And they're they're just good. They're just good. That's really unfortunate. So I'm going to, I'm going to adjust this because this is a mess, but then we're going to look at the rest of the league. All right. League leaders wise, Spencer Strider, Zach Gallen all had some pretty good seasons, which is what you want to see. Awesome to see that. And then Matt Olson and Acuna were really good offensively. So again, those two have been kind of the top of the offense for a majority of the rebuild. And if we look at awards, we've got a Cy Young, Hank Aaron, and an MVP. So Matt Olson back-to-back -back MVP awards, which is awesome. Zach Gallen was also in the race for the MVP as a pitcher, which is awesome to see. Josh Young won it for the Rangers. You've got the Cy Young for Shane McClanahan, who is now with the Astros. Lewis McKee looks really good. <laughs> looks really good. And then Gallen won it with Strider right behind him on uh, the National League side. Verdugo and Tristan Casas are your batting title winners. Class A and John Curtis. Whoa, okay. Reliever of the year. And then Carlos Rivera, second baseman, shortstop. Could be, but is this a generational talent? Could be for the Reds. Okay, the Reds have a couple decent young players, it looks like. And then Guy Corona wins it on the American League side. So looking at our team, we we, we had some mixed results. And um, again, I, I, I did a little thing where I extended a contract of Spencer Strider. We're gonna backload it. So essentially he's like, we're going up to 2033 and then he's deferring the rest of the money till afterwards. Kind of like an, like an Otani situation, you know? Like I had to give him a 10 year contract to get the money down. So yeah, so I think he's making like 23 million in 2023, 20, kind of the same thing with Acuna. He's gonna be making around 25 million in 2033 in the last year of the rebuild. So hopefully, you know, 29, 30, it'll be 35 and, um, 34 hopefully they're still putting up some good numbers we're gonna lose logan webb's contract sean murphy's contract a couple other young guys here we're gonna have to be really smart with our money though uh, max freed i'm probably gonna decline his option as well matt olson's about to leave the team hopefully he'll want less money we'll see i think financially we'll be good it's going to be very very close though i think that's going to be the big thing especially like these next two seasons i think those are going to be the toughest ones but let's talk about the team here. We've got pitchers. So pitchers, just I just can't get it right this year. I just can't get it right. So AJ Minter, I thought we had one more good season with him. I was wrong. I was wrong. Uh, we we've, we've had some really good years with him this year. Just just wasn't it. And um, I don't know what to do with this guy. I don't know what to do with him. I I've I've tried him. I gave him 21 starts. I gave him some long relief appearances. I put him in the middle relief role. I don't know what to do with him. Maybe a setup spot, maybe a closer spot. Maybe I just go, you know what? Let's give you a, like a, a full middle relief role and see how he does. I think that's the best option. I mean, he is only 25, right? He's still young. He's still got room to grow. It's just, I can't keep putting him into the team. And the thing is with those options, I'm afraid he's gonna get picked up. So may, maybe I try to let him be in AAA next year see if I get him a whole season in AAA because we have so many pitchers that are on the cusp of being ready. Like Aiden Nash had a really bad year in AAA, so I don't think I'm gonna call him up. Quintero was also kind of an iffy season, 
So these guys might just be players that I look to trade because they're not going to feature in the team. J.R. Ritchie was actually pretty good, but you can kind of see we've got plenty of players right on the cusp of 80 or already 80 that should be getting some time in the major leagues. And we're just kind of blocking them because we're trying to force players in. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, but let's talk about the MLB squad. Ken Waldachuk finally broke into the team after not pitching in the majors for what, six years? Six years ish? Gave us four innings. It was pretty decent. So he's going to get an opportunity in the postseason. Bryce Wilson, we're going we're to see what we can do with him. He wasn't he wasn't great. Five ERA. We've got Yariel Rodriguez, who was once again really solid for us. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's pitched 30 innings. And he's been good. Caleb Ferguson was also very good. I think, I think I bring him back for another season. I guess it depends on the money. Garrett Whitlock's been really good. We've got him for one more season, which is awesome to see. J.R. Ritchie, like I mentioned, came up midway through the season pitched well i'm really happy with that i think he's got he's he's earned a spot next season jonathan hernandez becomes a free agent i think i'm going to decline the option because he was going down at one point he had like a five and a half era at one point ah, but at the same time five million is not a lot of money so we'll have to wait and see colby allard once again was very solid for us like just good just, just a good pitcher Max Freed, like I said, probably going to decline the option, but not a, not a bad season at all. Um, for 18 million, it's not bad. It's just he's gonna he's gonna fall off. He's gonna fall off so much. Strider again, really solid. Logan Webb, what a pickup he was. Zach Gallen, once again, was fantastic. We've got two more years of him. I think we can definitely. I think it's gonna be like one of those where we can we can squeeze that out. Two more years, really solid. Career high in pitching for innings pitched. Yeah, solid, solid season. And then back to Waldachuk. So overall, I'm I'm happy with the team um pitching wise it's just i feel like we need there's just a couple guys that are letting the whole team down and um so yeah i'm um, looking at the team here we've actually got a few players that are doing pretty well in triple a von rock i think it's just gonna be one of those guys we call him up put him on the bench and he's just gonna do well just because he's got those hitting numbers the rest of the numbers don't look great like the fielding the speed and all that stuff but he just looks like he hits well he, th he hit like a 280 average on the year so he's gonna be a guy i'm gonna keep my eye on Edo's McCann's a little bit older. I might see if I can trade him for someone a little bit younger around the same overall. And then looking at some of the other guys that we've either picked up through free agency or through the draft, you can see we, we've got some okay players that we could potentially call up. Like Rich Ruiz, I know we drafted him. He's he's okay. He's okay. Still only 19 though. So we've, we've got some time with him. Um, Luis Miranda, kind of the same thing. Only 19, still got some time for him to develop. And then looking at the rest of the players, you can kind of see what we've got going on. And then really quickly in double A, you can kind of see the players developing as well. A guy that I'm really excited for is not Vincent Casto, even though his hitting numbers don't look bad or Steven Chavis, but it's the catcher that we got from the Cubs. And I forgot his name. Brian Pryor also looks like he's developing pretty good. One of those where I think we still need a couple more years. He's probably going to end up as just a bench bat for us. But again, I'm not going to complain about getting a bench bat. Not at all. And where is he? randy Telshaw. the hitting numbers look great he's gonna move up to triple a next year decent arm decent fielding numbers too i think we have our sean murphy replacement i think he just needs maybe another season or two before we can rely on him but overall pretty happy with the players that we've drafted um so far so foscu still not getting a lot of at bats but we're probably gonna keep him for the whole rebuild as long as he doesn't really want too much money after his arbitration expires you know what as a bench bat, like I said, I think he's a he's a good player to have in the squad. Lamont Wade Davis, Lamont Wade Davis, Lamont Wade Jr. Um, 10, 10 runs, 18 hits, 50 at bats almost. Not a bad season. Not a bad season at all. Uh Guillaume continues to just get on base. Torrens, solid backup catcher. I'll take that for sure. Cal Nick becomes a free agent. I signed him to a two-year extension. It it was like seven mil for two years. I think that's okay. You know what? last couple seasons he's been pretty good off the bench i'm okay with that murphy salute you great tenure as a brave it's time to move on time to find a new catcher at least for a season someone like a luis torrens who could just hold it down a placeholder for a season maybe someone that's like sean murphy's age but maybe a little bit higher rated we can sneak a season or two out of him and then um turn to Whoever tell tell Shaw, what was his name? What was what was his what was his name? Tell Shaw. I mean, do we even just turn to Tell Shaw now? We might, we might, we might, we might. Um, where are we? Michael Harris. Yeah, 
yeah we've got a couple more years of him he's gonna want a lot of money once he hits free agency it's gonna be an interesting situation because he's been good he's been good um i just don't know if he's been great you know uh ellie de la cruz is starting to put some seasons together which i really like we've got wyatt langford who's also becoming a free agent fairly soon he's gonna want a lot of money i looked at the extension that he wanted it went from well it went from one year extension was four mil and then two year extension it jumped up straight to 17 mil three years it went up to the mid 20s so we're gonna we're gonna have to figure something out for him um and then acuna once again was fantastic matt olsen once again was fantastic and then ozzy albies still really good numbers you know what yes we paid 27 million for him I do still think it's a little bit of money, but all right, I'm okay with it after putting up three straight seasons of 30 plus home runs. Austin Riley, again, 30 plus home runs. We've got him for a few more seasons too. And then Eloy, this is a guy for $5.8 million. I've extended him for two more seasons. Those are good numbers. I'm okay with paying, you know, short, just short of $6 million for this kind of production. I'm happy with that. So there we go. That's the team. Um, long-winded statistics breakdown halfway through this rebuild it hasn't been good it has not been good um we need we need a good we need a good one are we lined up with the we're not lined up with the Padres good good let's see if we can move on maybe just just can we get somewhere in the postseason let's get back to the World Series what can we do we win the first we lose the second we win the third. Please, Logan Webb, close it out. There we go. We're facing the Padres, though. It's going to be tough. And um, nothing against J.R. Ritchie. I just can't let him go game one of the series. So we've got to beat the Padres to face either the Red Sox or the Astros. But this has been our bogey team. Can we do it? I think, I think we need the Padres to just leave the league. This is getting ridiculous. We're going to get swept. This is ridiculous. I, I I don't know what to do. So for another season, three points brings up our total to 19. Oh boy. The Padres end up winning the World Series. So I, I don't think they won last year. I think it was the Red Sox that won it last year. If I'm correct. It was Zach Neto and then Tatis. I, I really need, I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We're going to have to figure something out though. Um, I might just have to blow up the team and make some of those players that i've like re-signed i might just have to trade them so garrett whitlock we have the team option four mil i think that's a bargain definitely got to take it max freed i'm going to decline it logan webb can go jonathan hernandez for five mil i'm gonna decline it and i just want to see what else is out there that way i can also just just kind of peruse the market a little bit like all these guys i'm gonna let walk i want we have 77 mil i still have to arbor offer arbitration i still have to tender contracts i just want to see where i'm at financially before i start offering um certain players deals so let's kind of see where we're at we only have three players on arbitration which is huge um colby allard what's his arbitration looking like that's pretty good i think everybody else is gonna be fairly good oh we have 97 now that's big that's big contracts could be an issue arbitration shouldn't be but we might be able to sign one player it's just, I think we, if we are, it's got to be a big name reliever. I, I trust Strider and Gallon at the top of the rotation. J.R. Ritchie, I think, towards the bottom. Ah, man, losing two pitchers is pretty tough, though. Could we turn to one of these two? Potentially. I think we said we'd give Schauber a chance as a middle reliever. See if that works. He, he's got some clutch, which is what I like. I, I mean, maybe we just... I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I think we definitely need a three. I think we definitely need a three. Definitely need some bullpen help. And the lineup, I have faith in the lineup. I just, I guess the pitching's letting us down. I think that's what it is. It's the pitching. So let's go do that. All right, so before that, let me show you the draft that we had. Maury Pip, B Potential. I'm thinking long-term for these guys, more towards like the end of the rebuild, 2020, uh, 2032, 33. Um, so there's that. We've got Saldana, who's also... You know, low rated, excuse me, a potential Munoz, probably not going to feature, but Cisneros, a potential Diaz, a potential as well. Good potential draft could also just be trade pieces for the future. Like I mentioned, we, we've re-signed a couple players. Budget's going to be tight. I don't think we're going to be able to sign any of these guys just because the contract's going to be pretty big. 
like if I can get somebody for like a year, it's just like there's nobody that's like Tyler Glasnow would probably make the most sense. I don't want Cole. I don't want Ian Anderson. I, I can't I can't convince myself to try to give him another shot. Bullpen, definitely need to find somebody from the bullpen. Ooh. There's some good catchers. There's some really good catchers. Do I spend on a catcher? We have Telshaw though. We do have Telshaw. But like Tyler Soderstrom looks very good. What does he want? Like 20 mil? I don't know if I can do 20 mil on that one. All right, so I was looking around the league, trying to figure out who I would want as a catcher. And I saw on the trade block was Tyler Stevenson, who has two years left on his deal, a super friendly team contract as well. Um, 12 and a half mil for 2030, which is really good. Um, I'm going to take that because it still gives us like a couple seasons to let Randy Telshaw develop, which I think is perfect, um, especially because like, I like his hitting stats, but I think they could be a little bit better. Um, obviously, we brought back Torrens, just a backup catcher, not too bad at all. And I wasn't just, the only player I would want from free agency was Soderstrom, but the price that he was asking for was close to 20 mil. I just, I just couldn't do that. I just couldn't do that. I felt like we needed to be a little smart with our money this year. So I'm going to send them players that could potentially get picked up in the rule five draft that i'm just not going to add to the 40 man so maybe like justin dean franco and players that haven't signed a contract huh so franco is just one i'm trying to think okay yeah we can make this possible all right so we're going to go stevenson uh, melendez could get picked up so we're going to send them melendez and the other player i was looking at sending them was uh dante medeiros i just don't think he's going to be good enough by the time we need him to be good maybe by the end of the rebuild but we have so many other pitchers i just feel like this this is an okay deal yes we're taking on a little bit of money but i think for this type of price he's still improving hasn't played a lot the last couple seasons but had a good season last year i think we give him the starter spot i think this, this is a good deal i think this is a it's a good catcher pickup um on a really friendly contract i think that's really what sold me was the contract I'm still trying to figure out the pitching. I brought in Urquidy. I know we've kind of flirted with that idea for a little bit. Ferguson's back. You can kind of see what I'm thinking right now. It's just this now. And um, do I go and spend? You know, we've we've got a little bit to play with. We've got a 62 available budget with only nine impending offers. Who are my offers right now? Nobody. So everything should be good then so with stevenson coming in the catcher spot like i like this lineup this is a good lineup i trust the lineup do do we spend on a pitcher is it worth spending on a pitcher like are any of these guys worth spending the money or do we just go to somebody in our farm system you know what i mean like we've we've got some good pitchers do we give them the shot or do we, do we trade one of them and see if we can get somebody that is slightly better? So, like, do we package, you know, like, Quintero's 27. He doesn't look bad. It's just, could we get someone a little bit a little bit better? You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe like, maybe also throw in, like, that third baseman, McCann, who's 26. And see if we can get somebody that, like, is also on a friendly contract. How did Schwellenbach do last year? Not great. Or again, find somebody that's like on an expiring contract, like the Logan Webb situation. We can slot him in at the three and things will look pretty good. Like Cal Quantrill. Do we steal him from the Padres? Um, ooh, they've got Manning's starting to regress. It looks like the Padres might be in a little bit of trouble. Players are starting to regress a little bit. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. I don't want Yamamoto. I mean, I, do, I want Yamamoto, but like I don't want Yamamoto. You know what I mean? I'm trying to see anybody that was really good that's like on an expiring or close to an expiring contract and it's not like four billion dollars like corbin burns so like brady singer's kind of what i'm looking for manoa no scoop ball maybe if he was not 83 overall hunter green signed a pretty cheap deal but he hasn't been great i'm trying to see let me see let me see what i can find all right, I was looking for deals, uh, some cheap contracts. Brendan Donovan was one of them. I thought for 1.4 mil, again, just something I can't pass up. Um, I'm getting rid of Ian Seymour, 30 years old, just not going to use him, along with Philip Hong, who's 27, and also McCann, who's 26. So, yeah, we're picking up a little bit older player, but just a good utility player that can help us out off the bench.
And then the other trade, I'm going to pick up Ryan Bliss of the Mariners. Again, just a player that's on a super cheap contract. And I thought, you know what? Might as well pick him up. I wonder if I could get like Ty Pete or Cole Young out of this. Maybe Ty Pete instead. Let's see. We could give them someone that I'm not using. Uh, ooh, oh, they'll take Wayne Kennedy. I'm not going to use him. He, like, he looks decent, but I'm not going to use him. I'll see potential players that I'm giving up here for Ty Pete, young infielder good team control and a super cheap contract i feel like that's a that's a pretty good bargain right there i'm gonna i'm gonna take that one too so picked up a couple infielders to help us out for the future all right so after those moves feeling good feeling good our bench is looking solid our triple a team we've got some good players miranda we've got prior who else am i missing here that looks pretty good um cruises b potential ruiz we've got rock um there's that and then we've got like saldana Diaz, Zavala's got B potential in double A. Telshaw, ooh, I need to get Telshaw up to triple A. And then I need to sign another catcher, which is not a problem. That's gonna be an easy fix. And then I need to send somebody down from triple A, which is just gonna be this guy right here. We'll do that. So, like I said, Telshaw will be our starting catcher for triple A, but this is the team. I think this is really good. I like the offensive side of things. Like I said, this isn't what I'm worried about. Almost every single player is 90 overall. The 89 or higher, except for Eloy Jimenez. It's crazy. And then if we look at pitching, the big acquisition this offseason was Grayson Rodriguez. 29, he's got eight potential. 20 million, I thought was a steal, especially compared to some of the other guys. You know, it wasn't like up to 30 mil, but also he had room to grow. He was still young. I felt like this was a good deal. And it kind of allows some of our other good looking prospects to develop another season or two and then we can have like you know gallon leaves after next year so he'll probably slide into there hopefully one of these guys develops slots in at the three or one of these guys develops slots in at the three and i feel like we kind of have a natural progression of letting players leave and new guys coming in allard i'm a little worried about so i'm hoping one of these guys does pop off so that we could potentially have someone to cover for allard um I think this is what I'm going to do with Shaver. I think I'm going to make him a reliever. I think this is his spot. You know, we still have Waldachuk, Whitlock. We brought in Arkady. We've got Rodriguez. We brought back Ferguson. And you can see we've got some 70 overall. Ragsdale. We've got Black. We've got Veras. We've got Ibar. We've also got a couple others that are developing down here too. So pitching wise, I think we've got the prospects. I think offensively, we've got some prospects too. Might need to make a signing here or there. But with the budget, we've got a little bit of room to grow, especially the final three seasons. It's just, we just need to start performing well because we haven't been lately. So let's get through the season. Right, so we're at the deadline. Sadly, Michael Harris is starting to regress. I don't think he's going to continue to regress. I think he's going to have like a little bit of a late resurgence once his contract comes to an end in 2031. It's just, I'm worried that he's going to continue to regress. And he's been good and also bad so like i don't really know what to expect I, I like michael harris as a player in real life i think he's a good player it's just in mlb the show he's not really showing up for me right now so i'm gonna go get a player that's a little bit younger has a very similar contract but um is putting up good numbers so let's make the trade again i don't want to trade him but i think if we're trying to look for the future let's get a guy that's a little bit younger potentially could try to extend his contract for something that's like somewhat cheaper you can see the deal that i'm making um i do have to throw in an a potential player but i'm okay making it happen also brendan donovan experiments not working so we'll try to find another maybe potential guy we can call up we might even just call somebody up from within this squad like ooh, is there anybody in AAA that's just like absolutely mashing right now like von rock von rock might be that guy or man and stevens i guess we could because like i really don't need because like jackson Churro is gonna go there and then maybe we we move the lineup around a little bit maybe go something like that could do something like this here maybe maybe like like that I think that's probably what we move like with going forward and then we just uh call up yeah i guess we could call it von rock I think he's having a, a pretty good season. Pitchers are looking really good, by the way, which is awesome. But if we're looking at a pit player, Miranda maybe comes up next year. Telshaw, not yet. I think, I guess we could just go with like an outfielder or I think we go with 
our guy von rock i think he makes the most sense out of the team otherwise we have to go with um landon stevens which also could work because like, i don't really want to take away a b so let's let's call up landon stevens what was he a third baseman no left fielder what was he yeah let's just get him into the team and uh, he could just be a bench bat for us. It's at the end of the world. I think we'll be okay with it that way. So this is going to be the team moving forward. I still like it. I think it's a really good squad. Jackson Churio basically takes over for Michael Harris. Pretty easy switch. All right, I'm going to pick up Ryan Lenskow from the Tigers. Looks pretty good. 18-year-old closer for Waldachuk and Gregorio German. Gregorio German, Herman. Either way, um, we're going to have to call up somebody. And it's going to be Douglas Black. He's going to be our new middle relief arm look at smith shaver he's looking fantastic so i might actually just change him to a reliever he's gonna drop an overall but i think that's the move and then i'm given a couple different starters um opportunities Quintero struggled a little bit at the major league level he wasn't terrible but he was struggling a little bit and then hidalgo's getting absolutely shelled in three starts so um i think we've we've seen the what we can get from him for now for now he, he can come back up um Quintero's looking good again so i'm just gonna i'm gonna give him another shot let's let's see what he can do here and um we'll go from there maybe maybe put him in the five spot grayson's not doing great but he's he's slightly improving so we're looking good there zach allen strider everything else looks fine i think i think the squad's coming together coming together we're looking pretty good so i'm gonna adjust the lineups but yeah, I think that's going to be it for the, the deadline. I think we made some good moves. First baseman with high potential. We could try to sign him in free agency this offseason, but I feel like we've done pretty good. Um, Aguero, 74 overall with, what, 84 potential. Another good first baseman for the future. Really good fielding and reactions also. Um, McAlpin, yeah, yeah, he's probably not going to feature. Uh, same thing with Brian Valentin. And then we've got David Choi, 69 overall with 80 potentials. Not bad for a starter either and then uh marmalejo also 77 potential is not bad all right there was somebody that i forgot to change and it was him let's make him a reliever full time now and he's gonna go down in rating a little bit uh down to a 73 wow he went down what 10 ratings that's crazy either way that gives him more space to grow i guess that works out for us and then we're gonna we're gonna see how the rest of the team does all right let's finish off the season 104 and 58 taking on the winner of the wild card crazy end of the season i mean we we lost here twice to the the marlins and then we won every single game for like what 10 days 11 days and then we lost to milwaukee in the last day so we had a really good run at the end how are we looking 104 okay 100 all right we have the highest record so far still beat the red sox the rangers man the rangers really what's their team looking like here or the team that just had the best record in baseball, Leo, <laughs> you are me starting for them. Really? He hit 24 home runs? <laughs> what? How? They got Bobby Witt? Okay. And Adley Rutschman? And Zach Geloff, huh? Wow, they got a team. Lodolo, Kopech, Soroka, McMahon is a guy that they drafted. Okay. Yeah, that's a good team. That's going to be a tough team to beat. All right, so league leaders, Strider, and Alexi Quintero had the best winning percentage. Did he just go on an absolute tear in the second half of the season? And then we have Acuna and Del Ellie De La Cruz popped off offensively, which is what I want to see. Awards, Cy Young, Hank Aaron, and a rookie of the year. Henry Lilly, I believe, was a year one draft pick for the Pirates. Definitely a generational talent. So it would be 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah. It has to be generational talent if i remember correctly he looks insane he looks insane he looks really good um mvp for him finally lost after uh, matt olsen won the last two don't have a brave this year nathaniel lowe wins it for the red sox this year mcclanahan back-to-back -back cy young winners strider keeps the braves cy young train going you got jp crawford and julian as the batting title winner bessia and doval relievers of the year and then quintero 16 and 3 so he came in and just absolutely went lights out for the second half of the season, which is great. That is exactly what we needed. Huge for us. And then on the other side, Owen Casey, form formerly of the Cubs, now of the Red Sox. Okay. All right. I'm going to fix the pitching. I know it's going to be a mess. All right. So triple A, we had Yariel Rodriguez start to regress a little bit, which is unfortunate because we've paid him for a couple more seasons. Um, just had a five and a half ERA. Really wasn't the setup guy I was looking him to be. 
unfortunate. Um, outside of that, we had a couple guys get some debuts. Not Garcia. It was... Where is he? It was Munoz. Nope. It was Hidalgo. That's what it was. Uh, 5 ERA, 14 starts. It, he's 23. He's still developing. We're looking pretty good there. I don't think anybody else pitched in the majors Ooh, henry kondo getting plus 10 for hits per nine is huge i didn't even realize that um but we're getting some good development with our, our relievers and even aiden nash looks like he's ready to take the step up and looking pretty good outside of that if we, we take a quick look at what our pitchers are doing douglas black came up pitched seven games and was solid yes the whip is high six walks is not what you want to see in six innings but i have faith look at the look at the per nines they look pretty good we got Michael Ahn, who also came up, had 15 innings pitched. was pretty good. I think we're probably only going to be able to get like a season out of him, but could be a decent long reliever. Caleb Ferguson brought him back. Blue 10 saves is not ideal, but was still decent. Uh, Shaver, yes, his overall went down, but this was his best season by far. Put him in the middle relief spot. I think this is his role moving forward. Urquidy wasn't as good as I would have hoped. He definitely pitched less. Um, but for six mil, I don't know if I'll bring them back. Potentially, let's see what went down. Not too much. So I think we could we could try to bring them back. Whitlock also becomes a free agent. I don't know if we're gonna get him on a super friendly deal, but he was pretty good. Isn't de developing or regressing, so he'll probably hold his rating. Not bad. Colby Allard continues to just be really good for us. Super underrated the last couple seasons. I like it. Jr. Ritchie, for first full season, not not terrible. Not terrible. Still developing. I'm feeling pretty good. Quintero had an absolutely insane second half of the season. Love to see that. Grayson Rodriguez struggled a little bit. Pitched way under the 200 innings that he did last year. So we'll see. He improved. That's all I'm looking for. Strider also improved, which is good to see. Love that. And then Zach Gallen pitched 202 innings. Wasn't his best work, um, but he's got one more year left in the tank. I, I feel it. One more year left in the tank. We should be okay. Position players-wise... I don't think anybody was called up and like stayed with the team, but we do have a couple guys that are super close to MLB ready, which I like to see. If we take a look at the squad, Foskey continues to be like the least used player on the team. It, it's fine. It's fine. Stevens wasn't great. We've got Torrens, who was an okay backup catcher once again. Ty Pete was actually really good off the bench. I think this is going to be a little underrated pickup for us. Kalnick is starting to regress a little bit. We do have a team option, so I might. He's not really regressing. I'm, I'll probably keep him on the bench for one more season. Tyler Stevenson looks to be capped out overall wise. He is still improving though. So I don't know really why he's not improving in his overall. He looks good. Yeah, that had a good season. First full season in a couple years. 20 home runs. Yeah. Ellie De La Cruz hit 40 home runs. Yeah, give me more of that. Wyatt Langford was also very good, becomes a free agent. We're definitely going to have to figure out this money situation with him because he's definitely our left fielder moving forward. Ozzy is starting to regress a little bit, which is expected. 12 years in the majors. We've got him for three more years. He's still putting up 30 home runs. Matt Olson becomes a free agent. I would like to keep him for another year. I think he could still put up 40 plus home runs or high 30s at least. So we'll see what we can do. Jackson Churio comes in, gives us a pretty solid season. Riley is starting to regress a little bit as well, which is, again, expected 10 plus years in the majors. Still hit 32 home runs, had an 830 OPS, and then Ronald Acuna Jr. with 47 home runs and a 1011 OPS. And then, of course, our sneaky DH with 33 home runs, Eloy Jimenez. I like it. I think the team, like I said, is pretty good. We haven't checked like our team rankings. We're third in batting average. We're first in runs. We're first in hits. We're, we're about home runs first in home runs. I think the pitching has been letting us down the whole time, but I feel like we just haven't been that bad. We're sixth in ERA. Like that's still not bad. It's just, we're coming up a little bit short in the postseason. So I think this is the year I'm feeling good about it. Is it going to happen again? Is it going to happen again? All right, let's do it against the Padres. Can we win this time? We at least won a game. That's, that's an improvement. We won the second. J.R. Richie closed it out. I, I can't let Quintero go. He, he was very good, but Strider, I need you on your A game, please. We did it. We finally beat the Padres. That's a win in itself. Dodgers are a good team, though. Dodgers are a really good team. So I think we're going to go like that for, the, for this series. Let's see how we do against the Dodgers. Lose the first. Win the second. That's big. That's huge. Win the third. 
Oh no. He blew it. Did he blow it in the ninth? Two runs in the ninth by Caleb Ferguson. We also allowed how many in the sixth? Nine runs. All right, it's it's, it's still two to two though. So like we're looking good. I'm gonna trust Quintero. He gets us the win. We need one more win. We're taking on the Rangers in the World Series and we know they have a squad. So Grayson Rodriguez one, Strider two, Gallon three, Quintero and then Richie. I think that's what we're gonna do for the World Series. Can we do it? We get the points we're making the World Series. We need to win it. We need it here. And that's not a good start. Two losses right off the rips bad. Really bad. But we do get the win. Quintero loses. And then instead of Richie, we got to go Grayson. I need a good outing from Grayson Rodriguez. And we fall a little bit short. Which we, we saw the lineup. Understandable. But we did get seven points for making the playoffs. We won the division and we made the World Series. So we're back in some good points there up to 26. Not a bad year. And the playoff MVP was Jackson Churio, who uh, we, we traded for. And he actually had a pretty good postseason. Um, but yeah, if we if we look at the calendar, you know, two to one, that's a tough loss. Three to four, again, super tough loss. All the games were close. Uh, we just... We just fell a little bit short, which is super unfortunate. Uh, we did win nine to one, but like I said, the rest of them were what? One run games, literally one run games. That, that's a tough, that's a tough one here. So heading into the off season, I feel like we can definitely improve the team. We're not far off. We're definitely close. This is going to be an issue though. Um, we have a hundred mil in the budget. What does he want? He wants 30 mil. The farther we go out. I mean, we could do we could do the same thing, like the little backloaded thing. He still wants 29 mil after 10 years. I have to go 15. 15 would be what? 38, 45, 43. That's too old. I can't be doing that unless we defer it. You know, like the like the Dodgers are getting away with. 30 mil is a lot. Is he a 30 mil player? I don't know. He's 28. He's not really gonna fall off by the time the the rebuild's over. It's just, what's our budget situation moving forward? It's actually not bad. It's actually not bad. It's not bad, right? Gallon comes off the books. That's going to be a big one. And I'm trying to see like what the other situations are. Like Ellie De La Cruz, he has an option for 32. Tyler Stevenson leaves. That's a big chunk. We are probably going to have to pay Jackson Churio. But like Kalanick comes off. We could get rid of Kalanick now and see if we can get him for cheaper than 8 mil. I might do that right now. Let's see. Let's decline it. What does he want for a season? Oh, yeah. That was the smart move. Uh, saves us, what, a mil? That, that's, that's still a mil that we're saving. Um, Terenz, I'm going to let go. Ferguson, I think he's still going to be good. And for four, four and a half mil, I think that's a bargain. Urquidy, what does he want for a season? Three mil? Yeah. Like, yeah, even if he's bad. Ooh. Is he regressing? 34 years old three mil i think i take the chance i think i take the chance matt olson what does he want for a season about 20 mil Do we have a guy that can step up and give us this kind of production he is also regressing heavily i think this is one we hold off on and i think we pay wyatt langford and um i think that's i think that's the move we give him the player option we do seven years and see if we can get him signed up for 31 mil I think that's what we do and then we backload it and then hopefully he signs that if not we're in a little bit of trouble Garrett Whitlock's probably gonna want a lot of money he wants eight mil let's see what else is out there I'm gonna I'm actually gonna re retract this offer so we're gonna go Langford Kalnick and Ferguson yeah that's what I'm gonna do that's what I'm gonna do yep that's the moves let's see what happens I hope it works 2030 Team's looking good. Again, we're ranked first in a lot of categories. Pitching went up, defense or pitching went down actually to second. But defense went up, speed went up, and this is currently the team. We're gonna have Richie and Quintero. Aiden Nash is gonna be the long reliever, and then a lot of call-ups for relievers. Whitlock's gonna be our closer. Shaver is gonna be the setup guy. And as you can see, we're we're rocking with like Ivar and Black as like our main guys getting the call up. We've got a lot of guys on the fringes being called up too. And look at our starter. Starter's looking real good right now. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. And just the depth in general. I'm feeling pretty good, especially with our starters. I'm feeling I'm feeling comfortable for once. Lineup-wise, 
Kelnick came back. Torrens came back. Foskey's back. Josh Rojas is our new, like, extra platoon guy. Seven mil. I thought, why not? He's been hitting the ball pretty well. Might as well keep him on the team or get him in the team, help us out off the bench, and then tie Pete still. So bench is looking good. Lineup's looking really good. As you can see, Langford came back. I got him on a $27.5 million deal, essentially, backloaded till 2035. And then um, I tried to get Matt Olson back. He signed with the Phillies, actually, for, what was it, 21 and a half. I think I offered him 19. And obviously, he's going to take a little bit more money. He stayed within the division, which is unfortunate. So instead, Von Rock is going to get his debut. The Puerto Rican playing first base. Fielding's not that great. Reaction's not that great. Arm isn't that great. Don't really see him as a third baseman. But the hitting stats look phenomenal. I'm going to see how he can do at first base. If things don't go to plan, we also have Rich Ruiz, who can also play first base. We got Luis Miranda, who can also play first base. And I think we have one more player that can play first base. That's actually like pretty good. Oh, uh, Vincent Casto, but his hitting stats aren't there yet. Also, Maury Pitt. Also, the hitting stats aren't there. So, essentially, Rich Ruiz or Luis, Luis Miranda are the guys to watch out for so yeah um 67 overall in the lineup let's see how he does i'm, I'm feeling a little a little crazy with it after the last season um we need to at least make the world series basically every season moving forward we could really use a world series win so let's see what we can do 108 and 54 won the division taking on the wild card winner so division playoffs three points do we have the best record in baseball i hope so wow dodgers came close okay but we do have the best record in baseball that's huge so already up to six points that's a that's a big season so far let me adjust the lineup before we just go through the whole like statistics and league leaders and all that stuff league leaders spencer strider had another phenomenal season and offensively the most war for ozzy albies i do quickly want to take a look and see how matt olsen did he hit 30 home runs which again is good it is it is good it is good it is really good um really similar to what he did last year I, I feel I feel okay with the 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 not signing him. I felt like we did okay. Awards, Cy Young, I'll take that. Otani won MVP, so he's back on top. Ozzy Albies was there, so you know what? The move to pay him is actually paying off. I'm actually I'm glad I did it because I really didn't want to. Um, gotta see who won it on the other side. The Mariners have Vlad Jr. now. Okay, McClanahan won another Cy Young. Spencer Strider won another one. Grayson Rodriguez is in the race. There we go. Otani and McClain are the batting title winners. You got Joan Duran along with Josh Hader, and there's only two reliever of the year candidates for the National League. And then Johnny Avalos, okay, for the Dodgers, was the rookie of the year. We didn't even have a candidate, really. And then Roger Jennings has just been chilling for the last few seasons in the athletics farm system. I've had my eye on him. I thought about trading for him. He looks really good. He looks insane. He looks really, really good. Crazy good fielder with an arm or an okay fielder with a good arm and just good hitting stats. And then you got a couple other guys who are in the race. Okay. So looking at our team here, let's look at player stats, pitchers. So we had a couple guys get called up and let me, let me show you. So Michael on didn't pitch this year, but no, who was it? There were, there were a couple guys that actually did come up. Yariel wasn't one. It was, where are they? Oh, Tony Cox. There he is. He pitched three and a third. He got a save, even though he's a starter. Um, honestly, not bad. Not bad. Hidalgo came up again. Also was fairly good. Home runs look to be a little bit of an issue. So that's going to be something that we got to keep an eye on, but he, he's developing very well. So I like to see that. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, if we look at our actual starters, MLB squad, Douglas Black got 30 innings and was solid. Some saves, some wins, some holds, a couple blown saves, but a good season overall. Will he progress much more? I hope so. He looks pretty decent. We've got Garrett Whitlock, who was our closer for a little bit. He was struggling, so I moved him to middle relief, and he turned his season around. He got his ERA under four, and just, just not a closer or really a, a setup guy. It looks like you put him in the middle relief spot. That's kind of his 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 spot. So I feel like I kind of messed up trying to put him as a setup guy and middle relief. We even talked about that where middle relief seemed to be his 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 sweet spot, and I messed it up. Uh, AJ Smith Shaver not as good as last year, but again we put him in the setup role. He struggled a little bit. I took him out of that role, put him middle relief. It was way better. So I think middle relief. This is where we're gonna lock up our guy. Obi Allard continues to be really good. I had to turn him into the setup guy. And again, was really solid. 
I'll try to bring him back maybe one more year. I think that's going to be the safe spot for him. Caleb Ferguson is regressing a little bit, but you can see he was our setup guy. He was our closer again, and he put in a really good season, probably the last year with the team. And he's been with us for a few seasons now, and he was fantastic. Um, Abe Ibar, good season, good first season. Love it. 12 wins, 11 holds, 5 saves. The guy was doing a little bit of everything. Got the job done. Aiden Nash, long reliever, saves, holds, wins, 137 innings out of the bullpen. Again, really good season for the rookie. Uh, J.R. Ritchie had a very good season in the 5 or 4 spot in the rotation. I'm not 100% sure where I had him. Quintero, pretty similar to last year. So I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. Um, Grayson Rodriguez was number 2 in the Cy Young race. Zach Allen put up a fantastic season. Um, again, really good for the team. Really happy that we picked them up. And then Spencer Strider was phenomenal once again. So happy with the squad pitching wise. Finally, we put together a really good pitching team. Uh, I don't think I called up anybody offensively, but we do have a couple guys coming up next year for sure. If we look at the team here, Josh Rojas only had 11 at bats, which is crazy because he easily was our best hitter off the bench. But okay, uh, Foscu got 20, oh, 74 at bats this year. And you know what? Not great. Uh, Luis Torrens, again, decent off the bench behind um, Tyler Stevenson. So good backup catcher. This guy was, was solid for us as a backup catcher. Ty Pete was okay. Kalnick, again, just doing decent numbers off the bench. Ellie De La Cruz, not as good as last year, but still a fantastic season. So I'm happy with the numbers. We've got two more years of him or potentially just one, depending on how he starts to either regress or progress we'll see we'll keep an eye on that tyler stevenson again had a really good season um he is progressing slightly but um we've got that other guy i think it'll just depend on how much money he wants maybe we sneak another season out of tyler stevenson austin riley again is regressing a little bit we got two more years of him i think we'll be able to we'll, we'll be able to we'll see we'll see jackson churio was fantastic once again 33 home runs 10 triples 32 doubles and then acuna Again, fantastic. He's holding his rating, which is really good because normally he doesn't. So I'm really hoping he continues to hold the rating. And Von Rock, the power numbers aren't there. But the average, the on-base percentage, 19 stolen bases as well with the 48 speed. Look at the hitting stats. We found our new first baseman. He's not going to hit for crazy power, but he's going to get on base. He's going to get some singles here and there. He's going to get some RBIs. He's going to get a couple walks, a couple stolen bases. I'm okay with that. Ozzy Albies had 43 home runs, which is a career high easily. So that's good. Wyatt Langford came back, hit 300 for us. Love it. Eloy starting to dip a little bit. So we're going to be in the market for a new DH. And then uh, Josh Rojas again. So yeah, I think what the DH spot. I mean, we're, we're looking pretty good there. Get Von Rock back, back in the lineup. He was pretty solid. And the DH, I mean, the DH is going to be the easy one to find. Like everything else is good. We've got a couple guys that... We've got Telshaw, who's definitely going to be our starting catcher. We've got Miranda, who can come up, play some DH. we got Pryor, who can help us out off the bench if need be. Rich Ruiz, another guy who looks like he can hit fairly well. So we've got some bats. I'm not too worried about that. I'm feeling pretty good about the team that we've put together. Plus, look, look at the depth and pitching that we have. Like, this is crazy. We've drafted well. We've made a couple good trades. And now we take on the Giants or the Marlins. Let's see, the Marlins. Okay, we, we lose the second. E lose the third. Richie, please. What is going on with this team? This is a good team. Why are we struggling so much? Shaver lost that game. <sighs> All right. All right. All right, I guess just the six points this season. So we're currently at 32 with three seasons left. That's not good. And honestly, I think this is easily one of the better teams that we've had between the three tenure rebuilds that we've done. The Dodgers obviously was crazy. The Yankees, I thought we, was good. But I, I think this is easily com like comparable with the Dodgers squad. It's just not performing. I, I don't understand it. So we're going to we're going to some soft season. Let's see who wins the World Series. It is the Dodgers. Speaking of them. Uh, who won MVP? Miguel Vargas. Okay, okay. I I I guess we're. I don't pitching. Pitching maybe. I don't know. Garrett Cole finally retired. I don't I don't know what to do. I'm gonna decline this option. Saves us a mill. 
Um, Whitlock, I think I'm going to pick it up. Seven and a half mil is not crazy. How much does Tyler Stevenson want for a season? 20 mil? No. Eli, no. No. Kelnick wants eight. We'll see. I think I'm just going to let everybody go. Oh, wait. I said I'd bring back Colby Allard. I said I would. Um, he's been fantastic for us. Um, I'm not going to turn my back on him just that quickly. Um, Whitlock exercises option. Would I like to stop? No, we, we already picked up the option. He was already staying with the squad. So we have around 100 mil probably after. <gasps> I got to get him. I got it. I got to. Um, how are we going to the DH spot? The DH spot's open. Oh, perfect. I think he's actually like a good fielder, though. He's a decent fielder. So White Langford's a good fielder, too. Um, and they, Lily only plays the outfield, right? Yes. How, did Wyatt Langford play any infield last year, like first base, potentially? Let me see. What did he do last year for... He played some DH, some left, some center. So no first base, though. Okay. All right. I, I still think it's worth spending the money on him. Like, Paul Skeens is cool. I don't think we need pitching. Maybe bullpen. Bullpen. That might be... That might be the move. So maybe like a little crochet action. Oh, bullpen's looking. Okay, there's a couple of decent arms. I'm seeing some. I'm seeing some. Okay. I, I definitely think this guy is, is worth the pickup. He's 24. Like, there's no reason not to. And we have the money to do it. I think it's a move. All right, so I'm going to start moving some of the, like, our older pitchers that may not feature or maybe just some players that, like, I just feel like, you know what? We could probably maybe get a little bit younger in certain spots. So I'm going to get rid of George Hamill along with Dominic Jones, who, yeah, he's, he's not going to feature. I'm going to pick up a catcher from the Angels because I am thin at catcher. I forgot to sign a backup. So there's that. So we do have Zavala for the future, but, like, Telshaw is definitely the guy right now, and we're looking pretty good. So uh, Freddie McMullen is going to be our new, like, prospect that we can look for. Maybe in a couple seasons, maybe the last season. We'll have to wait and see, but at least we get a little bit of depth. All right, next move, I'm going to trade Tobias Odell. I believe he was like first year draft, second year draft, but he's 25. He is blocked by quite a few other pitchers and he's only 75 overall. So like, I feel like we could, we could find somebody else that could potentially help us out. We're going to get rid of Eloy Mata, another guy that just is blocked. And then a third baseman who is, is not going to feature ever. So we're going to get a closer. This is the main piece I'm after from the Dodgers. I'm also trying to weaken the Dodgers for like the next couple seasons. We're also going to get a center fielder who honestly doesn't look too bad. Could potentially help us out in the future. And then uh, another reliever that could potentially help us out. We'll see. Either way, we're just getting some younger guys for players that I just don't see as part of the team for the future. All right, I'm going to trade Michael on. I think he's going to be good for like another season or two. Just the hits per nine, the walks per nine. It looks good. Decent control. But we see potential. He's already exceeded expectations for his overall. And again, I just feel like we've got other very similar players. Let's go get another reliever. Luis Vaquero from the Mariners. Hasn't pitched in the major leagues yet. I think he'll be... Let's see. Is he on the 40? Man, he's not. Okay, that's good. So we should be able to keep them in the minor leagues for another season or two but now we're, we're looking we're looking pretty good so let me let me get everything set up you can kind of see bullpens looking a little iffy here and there but we've got the players and then lineup wise we should be good as well so let me let me adjust it i'll show you what we did this off season and then the last move i'm gonna pick up alexander canario uh let me see i let go of kelnick i wasn't gonna pay him seven mil Brennan Davis, uh, Alcantara looks like he's a starter. I'm looking for a backup outfielder. Canario looks like he hits lefties okay. And I'm getting rid of two players that I'm not using in Trimble and Justin Dean. We'll, we'll give it a shot. I needed the extra bat anyways off the bench, the outfielder. So Canario, Pete, Vosky, Chavis is getting called up. So we'll see how he does. Essentially, just, just a little extra bat. And then uh, Clementine is going to be our backup catcher. So th the bench definitely got worse. But we've got plenty of guys that we can call up next uh, if we need to. Like we've got we've got the bats in the farm system. We did sign Henry Lilly. It was expensive. Um, it was a max deal essentially. That's kind of where I was at. Langford Riley. I'm a little worried about him. He might get traded. 
we'll wait and see. Uh, if he can hold his production, we're good. Uh, Tell Shaw is going to get moved down. I think we're going to go something like that. Churio and then Von Rock. I'm actually not worried about Von Rock. I'm not really worried about Tell Shaw. I'm worried about Riley and like a couple other guys just holding their rating and at least just producing. Pitching wise, I feel pretty comfortable. Like I, this is probably like the most confidence I've had in the team. Uh, Strider, Rodriguez, Richie, Quintero, Nash. I might actually go like like that. Hidalgo over here's got a potential. We've got Ibar, Shaver, Black, Whitlock's back on a one-year deal, seven and a half mil. We've got Kobe Allard. We'll see how he does as a setup man. And then we brought in Garrett Crochet on a three-year deal, 13 mil. He's been a pretty good closer the last few seasons. And we still have money. So I'm feeling good. I don't think we have anybody becoming a free agent besides Jackson Trio, which is a little bit of a worry. I'm not going to lie. That is a little bit of a worry. Um, but like Whitlock, Shaver potentially could be a little bit of a worry um, if we want to keep him or not. Probably want to. Get, what does is, what is Churio want? 24 if i go farther out does it go down yeah, if i go like long term what if i do like a shorter contract so he wants around 24 mil we've only got a couple years left i mean let's do eight years we'll backload it get a little player option see if i can bring this down a little bit maybe get it down to like 23 mil all right i think we're gonna have to keep it at 24 all right let's see will he sign this deal he does what does that put us budget wise close where it's going to be really tight the last couple seasons but i think it's going to be worth it all right so regular season where are we now first 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 in speed first in pitching the defense is a little low defense is a little low but i think i think we're looking good well i think we're looking good i i trust the team let's win a world series right, so 162 we won the division there we go so we're up to three points playoffs and winning the division did we have the best record in all of baseball so far it's looking good so far it's looking good we tied with the dodgers so technically yes we did have the best record in all of baseball so i'm gonna i'm gonna count it we need the points anyways so we're up to six we're up to six uh the dodgers are gonna be tough um i don't see the padres so that's good and let me adjust the pitching rotation because i've had to made i had to make a bunch of rotations within our squad all right, league leader wise, Aiden Nash had the most complete games and Henry Lilly was pretty good offensively, but that's that's really about it. That's not what you want to see. We do have a Cy Young Award, which is good, and a rookie of the year. So Otani won MVP beating out Henry Lilly. On the other side, it's Brett Beatty with the Rays. Andrew Painter and Grayson Rodriguez are the Cy Young winners. Soto and Andy Rodriguez. Okay, batting title winners. Bryce Wilson, what? Okay, and uh, Cesar Valenzuela are your relievers of the year. And the rookie there goes to our catcher, Randy Telshaw, and Michael Song. I've actually had my eye on this guy for quite a couple seasons now, or quite a few years now. Um, I was just seeing if he would develop into anything. Um, I think I wanted to get him in, like, season four. Um, he was on my radar for a, a pitcher to pick up for the future. Looks, pr looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So... We're going to take a look at our pitchers. Um, it was a mess this year. Um, a lot of starters are ready to come up. I like the looks of the per nines. Colby Allard definitely struggled. Um, just he, he was holding it down. It was just he was giving up a lot of runs. Uh, just couldn't couldn't let that continue. And the other ones that were up, Ibar struggled for sure. And um, who else? Quintero. Quintero really fell off this season, which is... Which is tough to see. I, I was kind of hoping somebody else like would have stepped up, but unfortunately, it didn't really work out. So uh, Veras only pitched two innings. He got roughed up a little bit. So I'm gonna still give him a shot in the postseason, but it doesn't look great. Um, Baker was okay, not too crazy. Like the, the whip's great. Uh, ERA is a little high. He is striking out quite a few batters. He's just allowing a few hits and runs. So uh, Crochet was good as the closer. Big pickup. Um, Tony Cox came up, was our long reliever, did fairly well. I like the looks of this. So we've, like I said, we've got the depth starters wise. It's the bullpen that's going to need a little chopping and changing here and there. Douglas Black's potential went up to B, which is awesome. He looks pretty good. Love seeing that. Um, Whitlock is still doing well, but he is regressing. So I think we just, let's, let's find some younger relievers. Let's start kind of bolstering up the bullpen like AJ Smith Shaver is looking like he's going to be a really good bullpen piece for us JR Richie pitched really well in that four spot Strider I got to get rid of him I can't I, he was really good five ERA he's regressing 
pretty heavily. Um, I think I got to trade him. Plus, the contract's not that great for us. We got we to gotta get rid of him. Um, I'd rather try to win right now. And he's just, he's got to go. He's got to go. Uh, Nash was okay. Almost a 5 ERA is tough to look at. But um, first full season as a pitcher, he's up to a 90 overall. He might be one of those that we we, we cash in while we can, while he's got a 90 overall. Uh, Hidalgo was good. Love to see that. A potential as well. We got Grayson Rodriguez, who was fantastic. And is still holding his rating, which is solid. Love to see it. And then back to the bottom. If we look at our position players, a couple guys got a couple appearances in September, but nothing too crazy. But we do have some guys like Rich Ruiz. He's an 80. Definitely needs to be called up next year. Um, we've got Miranda. Definitely should be on at least the bench next year, right? And Pryor should also probably be on the bench next year. So our bench should be filled out. And if we look at Foscu, didn't get a single appearance. Uh, Chavis. Oh, Foscu's also a free agent. At, no, he'll be a free agent next year. Is it worth paying him like a mil when we've got a guy on the bench that's going to be cheaper? Um, Chavis did come up, got 83 at bats and was pretty good. So again, we've got the bench bats. We've got an okay offensive side of things. Um, like Canario was good. Pete wasn't great, um, but we do have him signed up for like a couple more seasons on a fairly cheap deal. So I'm pretty happy there. There was somebody else that I forgot to mention that I signed to a very good deal. And I don't remember who it was. Uh, Clementina as a backup catcher wasn't great. It was Rock. I got him on a $2 million deal for like five or six seasons. He did have a little bit of a sophomore slump this year. I'm hoping he comes back better next year. We'll have to wait and see. Randy Telshaw was rookie of the year for a reason. 21 home runs. Um, 17 stolen bases. The catcher, 291 average. Huge. Austin Riley's regressing pretty heavily. Might be another one that we look to move. In the off season, you can see the OPS, the power, the average, it's all dropping. And with 21 mil on the books, we might be we, we might be moving Strider and Riley, open up a little bit more money, and we'll have something to work with in the offseason. Ellie De La Cruz put up 41 home runs. Yes, give me more of that. Entering his last year of his contract. Acuna is still doing well. Dropped down to a 98, but he looks still pretty good. Still pretty good. Power numbers are dropping a little bit. Only 20 home runs, but you know what? I'm still happy with the number. Churio, 800 OPS, but everything did kind of drop a little bit. But you know what? I still have faith. Extended his contract, so he's not going anywhere. Ozzy is regressing a little bit, but still putting up really good numbers. Like I said, 27 mil. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Langford, great season. Almost, what, a 308 average? Almost a 400 on base percentage. And then Henry Lilly was fantastic. Look at those numbers there. So the team's good. I, the team's good. It's just I got to hope this pitching holds it down. I don't even know if I can trust Strider to pitch in the postseason. This is a big worry. So we're up to six points for the season. We're facing the Rockies. Jack Flaherty is their number one starter. Oh, I guess they had the, the wild card. So either way, we, we, we need to beat the Rockies. And we don't have a full lineup. What? All right, now we're set. Game one, we win. Whitlock, man. Really, really... Nash wins, Richie wins. We move on to face the Marlins, who I believe knocked us out last year. Um, so we're gonna have Hidalgo pitch. I guess I guess we could do that. Man, the Marlins swept the Dodgers. What is the Marlins team looking like? Let's see here: Acevedo, Drew Jones, Gorman, Jazz, Bo Bichette. It's a, it's a little bit of an older team in certain spots. Like Jazz has got to be what. 33, 33, 33, 36. Okay, and then pitching, you've got Yuri, who's going to be young. Noble Myers, young. Cabrera's 32. Okay. All right, so they're kind of like similar to where we are. We, we got to do well. And I don't know. I didn't mean to hit triangle there. I didn't mean to hit triangle there. That's, that's, ah, that's so bad on my part. We win the next game. We lose the third, though. Aiden Nash gets us a win. Richie, I need a win here. We get the win. And instead of Hidalgo, we are going to go to Grayson Rodriguez. Nothing against Hidalgo. It's just I need my best player on the mound. That's Grayson Rodriguez. And we lose anyways. It's got to be Aiden Nash. I can't trust. I can't trust Strider. It, it comes. No, not Hidalgo. Not Hidalgo. My bad. Um, it's got to be Aiden Nash. I don't trust Strider. It's just. It literally comes down to Aiden Nash. We win. We're in the World Series. Thank God. Hopefully Ian Anderson with the Red Sox. Is he good now? Is he was just one of those that we would have to wait? Uh, he, he had a career year this year. That's that's really about it. Um, 
but we'll take a quick look at their team see how they're looking they're they're hard the lineups good uh they're pitching it's pretty good this guy looks good i know they drafted this guy this guy's insane um i was really upset that they got him but we gotta win we gotta win we're, we're a better team um hidalgo's not pitching this game we just had nash go um i guess richie rodriguez nash strider hidalgo i don't even know if i can trust strider to pitch i might have to just say no strider and let's see how we do all right jr richie game one we win that's big rodriguez there we go grayson there we go this is big come on all right we lose that one hidalgo wins it it comes down to spencer strider can he make up for his bad postseason we get a world series it took forever we finally get one though so really quickly the mvp was austin riley and the playoff mvp was ellie de la cruz um i feel like we can't get rid of austin riley now he hit 476 in the world series okunu struggled a little bit ozzy albies was good lily was good langford was good ellie de la cruz was fantastic i think he was the playoff mvp austin riley he was good um, I feel bad getting rid of him, but I just, he's going to be like low 70s next year. Numbers are really starting to decrease. Churio was good. Telshaw was good. The offense came to play. Offense came to play for sure. And the pitching, Strider, Strider was the letdown. I mean, everybody else kind of held it down. Ooh, 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 maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Either way, we got the World Series. That's 15 points on the board. That's a huge season. It brings us up to 47, which is good. We've got two more seasons. Two more seasons. We got we got to hit big. Trout does retire. Shy of 600 home runs. I actually considered signing him, but he wanted like 15 mil. Uh, so I was like, yeah, no, we're not we're not doing that. Um, what it was? We got 16 mil for Ellie De La Cruz. I feel like that's definitely something I got to pick. Uh, Whitlock, I'm gonna let walk this year. Um, Smith Shaver doesn't want a lot of money, so I think we're gonna just go. Let's do let's do two years. We'll lock him up for the rest of the rebuild, and we'll go six and a half mil. That's a pretty good deal. And then Colby Allard, thank you for your service, sir. I'll give you a little salute. You were fantastic for us. You gave us what three three good seasons. I'll take that three and a half good seasons ish. Like you know what? I'm I'm happy with that production. And we are definitely going to make a couple trades to open up some money because we're a little tight. So Spencer Strider, I was really hoping that we could have worked it out for the rest of the rebuild. But after this last season, plus that postseason performance, you know what? Again, thank you for your service, but you got to go. Um, do we have some... Ooh, is there somebody in free agency that could step up? Domingo Rodriguez looks good. Domingo Rodriguez looks very good. Um... Who else? Christopher Rodriguez and Domingo Rodriguez. Okay. Harrison, Boz. Could we make a trade? Because it's either the two Rodriguez. Oh, no. I'm glad I caught that. I who did who else? Did we sign anybody else? I'm going to withdraw that. Um, I forgot I put auto for the draft to sign the draft picks. And I'm glad I caught that before I started simming and we lost out on some players. But going back to the Strider thing. I think we try to we try to trade for a pitcher. I think someone that'll slot in at the two spot because we've got a we've got a really good bottom half of the rotation. Um, I think Alexi Quintero can also get traded, but um, yeah, the bottom half of the rotation looks really stacked. We just we we need that guy that can slot in at the two spot. What about Chase Dolander? Um, is there a t who who are we facing? Ian Anderson? No. Let's see here. Reed Detmers? No. Thank you. Kenzie Gore how's he been yeah he was good I wish we could have traded for him I there was a guy I was looking at um earlier in the rebuild and I just couldn't make the trade possible I'm trying to see someone with like a potential that's like a little bit younger mm, doesn't really look like there's anybody that's like signed a contract recently so it might just be like Yuri Perez interest that's an interesting one Yuri Perez is an interesting one but it might just be better to trade him for something um I, I don't know what but something because like i'm looking at it there really isn't like chase dolander is like really the only one that has a contract but like there really isn't a position that i need to trade for either because like we have a third baseman that we can call up 
unless we move Ellie De La Cruz to third base. And then is there a shortstop that like is available? I saw Jacob Gonzalez's name pop up. Is he good? He's good. Um, Jackson Holiday is regressing, so I think we're going to pass on that. Third base, nothing too crazy. So I'm going to look around. Um, there's definitely players that we could sign, but I feel like the trade's probably the best moves. Alrighty. So still haven't gone through like free agency or anything like that. I'm going to trade Strider to the Giants for this guy that I think is a generational talent. I think so. Uh, he looks pretty good. I also need to open up some 40-man spots. So there's that. So Austin Riley is also going to get traded. I just don't know for what. And then I'm picking up another catcher, a potential, 22 years old, 74 overall for Austin Riley. It's opening up a lot of money for us. It opens up some 40-man spots too. I'm probably also going to have to trade some of our pitchers. So like Quintero is probably going to go. I'm probably just going to pick up a, what do we need? Potentially a, a first baseman. Is there a first baseman that like, I mean, a first base looks good. Maybe, maybe a little third base prospect that uh can just chill in the farm system for a little bit somebody got one of those uh yeah adrian rios yeah from the yankees we'll take him sure why not and then who else could i potentially get rid of that maybe a little bit older that we're not going to use anybody else that's been on the 40 man i think we're good i think i think i've opened up enough spots now maybe ty pete could stay Von Rock's fine. Fosk, Fosk, you could potentially, like, we're not using him. And we've got so many guys that are, like, really similar in rating and, like, overall and abilities. So, huh. Because, like, right now we're at 36. And I definitely need to add Miranda to the, the 40 man. Because I, I don't want to lose him in the Rule 5 draft. Who else? Like, Rich Ruiz. There's another guy I got to add. Make him on the 40 man we're up to 38 now and i still need to make a couple signings and i could still lose others so let me see my 40 man is there anybody here that i could like remove i kind of like everybody that's here maybe like a reliever that like i don't know i feel like i'm looking pretty good do we need to sign anybody i said i was looking for that extra starter offensively i think we're good so yeah, I guess I guess just like that extra starter and maybe a, a bat, maybe the penultimate season, penultimate season. Oof. All right. So team, basically the same, right? The defense is still ninth. Everything else is looking at first. And I made one splash. Domingo Rodriguez. Yeah, I, I couldn't pass up. A 26-year-old hitting free agency who's a starter pitcher who's coming off of, what, three really good seasons? Yeah, he's pitching a lot, 200 innings in almost every single year that he's gone. At $21.5 million on average for five seasons is a bargain. Again, we still got Grayson Rodriguez. Now we got Domingo Rodriguez, Aiden Nash, Pedro Hidalgo, J.R. Ritchie, and Tony Cox. I mean, look, look at the look at the farm system too. Like this is probably the craziest farm system that I've had in a rebuild. Like the pitching is absolutely juiced. Like all A's or B potentials, close to 80 overall. I've got a couple guys on waivers, so the bullpen will be full. But look at this. Baker's up. We've got uh, Douglas Black. We've got Javier Veras. We've got Henry Kondo, the starter who we turned into a reliever at 30 years old, is finally getting his debut. But like I said, we've got a couple guys down in the farm system that are they're waiting if things don't go well for the bullpen. We've got depth. I really like the team. Crochet's still our closer. And if we look at the lineup, it's it's good. It's good. We've got Rich Ruiz in, Telshaw, Von Rock. The bench is looking good too. And we still got a couple guys in the farm system that we could turn to, including, where is he? Where is he? Uh, he's a shortstop. He's a shortstop. Where, where is he? Ah, Pryor. I just think the hitting stats need a little bit more time, a little bit more time to cook, and then he'll be ready. Essentially, he could take over for Ellie De La Cruz because he's in a contract year and he wants big money you know who else wants big money ozzy albies and I, I he wants like 30 mil he wants 30 mil for a season i can't i can't do that i can't do that so i'm gonna leave it as is penultimate season let's go win another world series 106 and 56 again a really good season i'm telling you this team is built to win league leaders aiden nash crazy season 234 strikeouts and then domingo rodriguez comes in does well hidalgo also, like we got, we got ellipses. We got more league-leading stats, and then offensively, offensively, 
um, Lily and Ronald Acuna Jr. had some pretty good seasons. So that's good. Awards, Cy Young, Aiden Nash. He was somebody I was worried about, the B potential when he's in the 90s, but he comes up, wins the Cy Young, and we have the MVP as well, which is huge. I didn't even check to see if we had the best record of all of baseball, but let's run through this, and then we will. So Lily wins MVP. What a pickup by us. 25 years old. It looks like he is regressing a little bit. As long as we can get him through next season, I don't care what happens after that. Manzardo wins it on the other side. Rhett Louder and Aiden Nash are the Cy Young winners. We had three contenders this season. Nash had 211 innings pitched with 234 strikeouts. Uh, Joe Cat Catamer won the batting title along with Gunnar Henderson. We've got Alex Vesia and Tommy Park as the relievers of the year. And then Jeff Betts. I was going to trade for this guy because I saw he was a second baseman with high overall, super young. And uh, I saw he was with the Phillies and I thought, you know what, let's leave him on the, the Phillies. Rich Ruiz, uh, for some reason, is in AAA, but he was a rookie of the year candidate. And then Jeffrey Stoddard for the Guardians wins rookie of the year. So I'm going to adjust the team. But first, do we have the best record in all of baseball? So far, it's looking like it. So we do. We do, we have the best record in all of baseball. So the division, the playoffs, best record. That's a good start. Uh, Ronaldo Harrell got a couple innings in September and was fantastic. Love to see that. And I think there was one other, oh yeah, Douglas Black really struggled this year. It looks like we've seen the peak for Douglas Black, which is unfortunate because he was good. He was good, he was good. And uh, Ibar didn't pitch this season. Um, Richard Baker did and he struggled, which is not, not what I wanted. And then Tony Cox had 42 innings, wasn't as good as he was last year, which is unfortunate. But if we look at the major league team, let's go down here. Uh, Vaccaro came up in the bullpen, 20 year old. He's 80 overall already, the guy that we got from the Mariners. And he gave me 11 innings and was great. Next up was Barton Hernandez, who also came up a little bit later in the season, was really good. So I'm liking what I'm seeing from the pickups that we got through trades for the bullpen. Garrett Crochet, we've got one more season of him. He is regressing slightly, but he still put up a fairly good season, so I'm happy about that. Gil Garcia was our long reliever. He was. Kind of flipped a couple long relievers, but he was our guy. 50 innings. Good season. Good season. I like that. Uh, Veras struggled a little bit. A little bit, but it was it was a, it was was an okay season compared to last year, I guess. Um, Smith Schauber, okay. He was our setup guy and was struggling. Like a six ERA, moved him back to the middle relief spot, killed it. So I'm not even gonna try to make him a setup guy anymore. I was really hoping he could have been the guy. He's a high rating, but you know what? Hey, he's our middle relief guy, one of the more dependable arms. He got his ERA from a six down to a sub three, killed it. Henry Kondo took over the setup role and look at those numbers. This guy's, this guy's legit. J.R. Ritchie was our five starter. It was okay. You know what? I'm perfectly fine with this. Um, yeah, that's perfectly fine for a five spot. Domingo Rodriguez was absolutely nasty. 20 and three on the year is crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, Aiden Nash was also very good. Grayson Rodriguez was also very good. And then Pedro Hidalgo, talk about a season. Great season from him. And I really like the team so far. If we look at the farm system, uh, we've got a couple guys like Castro's up to a 72, Saldana's up to a 72, McMullen's a 74, Aguero is a guy that I drafted a couple seasons ago. He looks really good. He's up to an 81 first baseman. And let's see what else we got here. Um, Irisari traded for him. I forgot who we traded away, but 74 overall, not bad. Pedro Garcia, 75, Chavis, 74. Like we've got some good, we got some good, some good players in the farm system. Zavala, backup catcher, 35 at bats. Good on base percentage. I'll take that. Uh Miranda, first baseman, 83 overall. He, he yeah, it was yeah, he was eh. Uh Ty Pete was good off the bench once again. Middle infield help. We've got Alexander Canario, who was okay. He becomes a free agent. I don't know if I'll bring him back. I feel like we've got plenty of other options. Von Rock also. Little bit of a bounce back season i like that good average good on base percentage ellie de la cruz a good season but i don't know if he's going to be worth the max contract that he's looking for at 30 years old there could be someone big in free agency so we'll, we'll look to see what's available tell shaw had a little bit of a sophomore slump but we'll, we'll see how he rebounds he's up to an 88 overall so like we've got our catcher um ozzy albies great season 35 years old 
almost a 300 average. It's just, again, he wants a lot of money. I just don't know if I can pay that. Uh, Jackson Churio still doing fairly well. I'm not expecting crazy power numbers, like 33 home runs. I can't expect that every season. Like mid 20s, I'd be happy with 340 on base percentage. Yeah, give me more of that. Acuna is slowly starting to regress now at the age of 34, which is understandable, but he's still putting up great numbers. And then Wyatt Langford is also still doing well. And then Rich R Ruiz. Hey, I will take that all day. He's up to an 83, looking good. And Henry Lilly, we talked about him. Still great numbers, 48 home runs, 282 average. Yeah, I'm liking the team. And then uh, Brian Pryor. Oh, I missed Brian Pryor. We didn't talk about him. He, uh, yeah, he, he had five, two at-bats. There's that. Uh, so the team's looking good. I'm liking the squad. I mean, when you look at the overalls and everything, almost everybody's an 80 on the bench. Almost everybody's, what, we've got 83 in the lineup, but then like 92, 99, 98, 95, 92, 95. Like everybody's looking good. Uh, let me make sure everyone's set for the lineup. Lefty DH, it's supposed to be Ruiz. It is, okay. And then this is gonna be Ruiz as well. Pitching wise, we should be good to go. Yep, let's do it. How are we gonna do in the postseason taking on the Giants and swept wow the giants man what <sighs> okay so six points we're up to 53 not looking great uh to beat the yankees we gotta win a world series the astros defeat the padres we got one more season we gotta win a world series all right fifth in defense this might be the best team i've ever assembled all right pitching wise rocking with it i'm, I'm liking this no this no 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 it should be like Ooh, Richie has 69 stamina. I might go like this. I'm gonna go like this. Um, nothing has changed though with the pitching. It's just we've we've kind of moved some players around here and there. Lineup wise, um, Ellie De La Cruz is back. Yeah, he, he's back. Ozzy wouldn't take the contract I offered him. It was like 25. I don't even know if, who he signed with. We can we can take a peek, see where he went um i think i i think it was less than 25 i think i offered him like 22 let's see where he ended up with the padres yeah i wasn't paying 32 mil i i wasn't i just i can't do that i just couldn't um so instead we brought in sal stewart a potential 90 overall coming off of a fairly good season last year i'm liking what i'm seeing it was okay contract wise but you know what third baseman 29 years old i feel like that's a good pick uh, Brian Pryor is going to take over second base. Uh, we might start shifting some players around, though. So we'll we'll see what happens. We've got a really good hitting bench. So I'm liking that. Telshaw, Rich Ruiz at first now. Stewart at third. This is a good team. I like this team. I feel like we've done a good job of getting the prospects involved. So we'll see how the final season goes. So 104 and 58 is the final season's record. Let's see... Did we have the best record in baseball? So far, it's looking good. We do, we do. All right, that's good. That's a good start. Let's go win a World Series now. League leaders, Rodriguez was an absolute crazy pitcher to pick up in free agency. Aiden Nash was also very good. And offensively, a couple guys led the league there. Okay, so awards, no awards. O'Neal Cruz, okay, beat out Henry Lilly for the MVP. On the other side, it was Sean Aguero. We've got Rhett Lauder and Horace Berger. Okay, 25-year-old, 83 overall. Pretty solid, pretty solid. I kind of want to see this uh, Aguero guy. Wow, 96 overall. He looks insane. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Um, if we look at batting title, goes to David Mesa along with Miguel Vargas. Reliever of the year is Robbie Madlock, who actually just signed with Pittsburgh. He was a, he was a free agent this offseason. Pittsburgh picked him up. Gustavo Velasquez wins it on the other side. Rookie there goes to Darren Davis with a five ERA. Okay. And Arturo Sanchez, who was a guy that I wanted to draft a few seasons ago. And he was picked way too early by the Pirates. I think he was ranked like 27th in the draft and the Pirates picked him at like number 10, which is super annoying because I thought I was going to get him, but I didn't. So I'm going to sort out our pitching because this is a mess. Let's, let's see how we did. All right, so pitching wise, it was kind of a mess. No one really stood out. Like we had a couple guys come up and do well, like Harrell, he looks insane by the way. Um, Crochet struggled this season over a four and a half ERA. You've got Hernandez who looks unbelievable, really good pickup by us. Richard Baker was okay, better than last year, but 
you know, like again, you're going to see a theme here. A lot of high ERAs, not what you want. Uh, Luis Vercaro was good, which I like to see that. Henry Kondo was also very good. Probably a guy I should have given more time to. But again, he was a little bit low rated. But I mean, he's he's been solid. Uh, Schauber was, again, one of those that like kind of struggled. For some reason, he was a setup guy for a bit. I didn't put that. I also noticed that the CPU really stepped in and changed something. Um, I don't know what it was. They completely changed my lineup and my pitching rotation so at some point there was some sort of issue with the minor league rosters where i hit auto and it completely changed everything but at the same time when you look at the team a lot of underperforming players i'm surprised we did as good as we did because a lot of high eras a lot of high whips and it just it, it just wasn't the best of seasons like domingo rodriguez was fantastic unbelievable by the way um he didn't win cy young by the way who did horace Berger. Uh, he wasn't even the in the race. That's unbelievable. Either way, if you look at it um, just really quickly, you can just see like Rodriguez and Grace, like Domingo and Grace and Rodriguez were good. Uh, Barton Hernandez should not be there. It should be Hidalgo. But you can kind of see we, we have a little bit of an issue here. I'm going to rock with an extra long reliever. I might even go like that. And then maybe something like one, two, three yeah i might rock like that for the for the postseason bullpen looks a little bit messy and then the lineup i think the lineup is what carried us this year like rich ruiz was good 71 games 274 at bats good on base percentage good average we've got zavala who was just kind of a backup catcher pedro garcia got called up to help us out in the outfield wasn't great um ty pete was good off the bench once again and then if we look at our lineup acuna is really starting to kind of regress a little bit uh but still unbelievable season love to see it von rock stepped in at first base i believe it was and i just saw the hitting numbers in the high 80s even in the 90s for contact versus left i thought you know what with that on base percentage and that average we got to get him into the team he's not gonna have a lot of pop but at least he'll get on base henry Lilly was once again fantastic we've got wyatt langford who also was a huge pickup for us great outfielder and i mean yeah, I gotta love it. Uh, Ellie De La Cruz did really well. 13 triples, 33 home runs. You got Sal Stewart, who is regressing. Hate to see it. Uh, Randy Telstra was really good. Career year for him. What a pick by us. Like, he's just killing it. Um, I think we actually traded for him from the Cubs. Yeah, that's actually what happened. Jackson Churio may have, like, stalled out here. Um, we'll take a quick peek and see what uh, Michael Harris did, see how he was. And then Brian Pryor hit 300 and 350 at bats, which is pretty good. Let's go take a look and see. I'm not gonna be able to search for a player. So I'm gonna see if I can find Michael Harris on a team. I don't remember, I guess the Brewers. I don't think I traded him to the Brewers though. Where was Churio? Where did I send Michael Harris? I gotta find it. The White Sox, the White Sox, and he has been, oh, it was Milwaukee, and then he went to the White Sox with the contract. That makes sense. Yeah, he hasn't been great. He hasn't been great. So we made the right move. We made the right move. It comes down to this. We need to win a World Series. Uh, team pitching-wise didn't perform well. We're facing Spencer Strider, who's with the Giants. How did he do this year? Pretty bad, and was also bad last year. So if he's starting for them on day one, we better win domingo i need you to be th the best you've ever pitched um okay let me let me fix that really quick this is it literally oh it's the no dh lineup that was the problem come on all right let's win please we win 10 to 4 perfect we win 8 to 1 harrell 10 to 3 perfect all right now we're taking on the pirates again this is going to be a tough matchup but we can go with our our top three guys the fact that so yeah domingo grayson right yep perfect love it let's do this can we beat them we're home the first two games let's start it off right we lose the second not not ideal we win the third oh, come on guys come on don't do this to me grayson rodriguez please oh boy that is unfortunate so there it is. I, I guess maybe not let Hidalgo pitch, maybe not let Garcia pitch, but at the same time, like we, we still lost here. Our closer blew this game uh, by 
allowing five runs in the ninth. Okay, perfect. Uh, we lost this game. Grayson Rodriguez lost that one. So, like, we should have won. We allowed five runs in game seven. That's that's just unacceptable. Like, that, that just can't happen. You can't let that happen. You can't lose that way. Like, that's just so unbelievable that we lost that. Wow. So, six points, postseason division best record in baseball i right we had the best record in baseball we did so six points to a total of 59 on the rebuild so 59 puts them in third place behind the dodgers behind the yankees and i really just think we got unlucky yes i could have like completely blown up the team from time to time to make better moves or maybe just bring in better players but when you look at the team as a whole i i thought we did a really good job like throughout the entire rebuild especially offensively i thought we put together a very good team it's just clearly the pitching wasn't up to scratch and i honestly thought we had a very good pitching team i just i think we got a little unlucky on this one we just we just really got unlucky right um i thought our pitchers were fantastic i thought our bullpen was good it's just when we're blowing the ninth I, how many times did we blow a a save in the postseason i feel like it happened at least once or twice a series like that can't happen so there it is, 10-year rebuild for the Braves. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. And if you're looking for more rebuild content, here's one on screen now. Go check it out. Catch you in the next one. Peace.